let's go ahead and get started. And the way we're going to work this draft out is we are going to, from the last player going uh, counterclockwise in turn order, take our base and place it on one of the characters here. And my suggestion to you is, A, you want characters that are closer up, and B, you want characters that are going to be of the color closer to that specific boat. So, for instance, this red guy is very close, but he is all the way away from the red boat, which would be more mm. challenging to get him over there, all right? But he is up farther than maybe, per se, the red guy in the very bottom here. And um, you're also going to want to have uh, maybe like this blue guy. He's pretty close, and he's next to the blue boat. So that would probably be a good one to draft. You're going to want to get a variety of different characters and colors. Uh, if you get all the same color like Alicia likes to do, where she just picks the blue one because she really enjoys blue, you might be in a little bit more trouble. So try and pick different characters. I'm still going to do that. I'm going to get all of the blue ones. All right, well, accepted. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> and uh, in addition to that, Perfect. each of the characters have unique abilities. So while every single character can use the abilities on this board, here a lot of them will give a discount to the abilities that are written down on there so for instance uh, the plus one guy will give a plus one to movement uh, for base movement moving so if they move one instead they're going to move two spaces a character with like the two little circles and an arrow through it is actually going to do what they call like a squeeze where you can squeeze through either two pieces of terrain or two characters or one of each into an open space and that'll cost one uh, cost it'll be two instead of four so they can be cheaper and we're all going to have a certain number of movement points so seven to start with per per uh, turn and once you've gone to zero that will be your turn and we kind of pass along like that <clears throat> so that's the basic idea for drafting gather those guys up in front try and gather the ones that are closest color to uh, closest to the boat and uh, we'll just go ahead and begin uh, if you have any questions as we go just let me know and i'll explain it to you guys uh, as that goes go much better crystal clear awesome uh, Clint, hello. It's been a while for me. Great to be, it's great to see you again as well, Clint. No problem. I know that uh, times have been pretty uh, pretty insane lately. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the game, The Fog, Escape from Paradise. I will now take you to the top down for the uh, game so you can see us do the drafting bit the moment Callie realizes I'm speaking for her to do that. Ha ha! We're there. Okay, so hopefully you guys can now see the entire game board, as well as, of course, us in the little corner over here. And we're going to go ahead and start the draft. We'll start with uh, yellow, and then we'll go to blue, to black, and then finally uh, to pink, I suppose, is what we're doing here. Yes. So, uh, I mean, wait, actually, let me organize this correctly. Yellow, then black, then pink, and then we'll do blue. So you can start the game off as far as movement goes. And you can start with uh, the draft, okay? So go ahead and choose a character and take your base and place it underneath that character. And that will signify that as your character. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, good. The exact example I gave. Oh, I really wanted that one. <laughs> all right, so... Um, I also can note, note, I mean, another relevant thing, too, is uh, the farther up the guys are when they get to the boats, the more points you're going to get. So six points is obviously better than five, which is way better than two. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this red guy over here because he will get me from here to that here. That's like the closest one. I know. I like it. I like it a lot. And we'll just keep drafting that. Okay. One. So what if there's a character that is, like, in between this rock and it looks like a so there's gonna be ways to jump over things and squeeze through things and whatnot so i mean obviously if you were this guy you could go one two three you know four five right but uh, you can also jump over certain things and get into certain areas so there's tons of different ways to move so don't worry about the the uh, obstacles too much there's always going to be obstacles you're going to be kind of uh pigeon hold in certain areas just as the game as the game is going to be going along cool Yep. I was very tempted to get the blue one. But... You might want to actually win this one. Well, I wanted that other blue one, but Philip got it. Oh. <laughs> all right, and then you're, you're up, Philip. Draft again? You draft? Yeah, we draft until all of our guys are done, which means all the characters on the board are going to be filled with our, with our colors. Okay. We can move these off. Move these off. This is so disadvantageous. <laughs> Looks like Philip's going for the blue ones. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll take this guy here, I suppose. All right. And next, you guys got this. I'll be right back. <clears throat> After these messages. 
Jesus. <laughs> Son. Oh, look, a blue one. Yeah, a blue one. <laughs> I see my secret watchers there. My turn. Very low volume and an echo. We draft until we run out of these crystal uh, clear though. pieces. Okay. But I need to win, so that's why it needs yes. to be closer to my boat. All right, we've we've we've, I've, right, we'll I've, I've fixed the echo problem because I turned the new camera on, refreshed everything, the camera audio turned on as well, which gave us the echo. Thank you for watching us. Hey, Rockford, what's going on, man? Nice to see you again. Board games and bourbon. Ah, uh, it's been a while since I've seen you. Hope you're doing really really well. Yeah, as a as a content reviewer, does some really good stuff. Um, my turn. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What do I want to do here? I want to put this one over here. Smart. Okay. That's my selection. Natural selection. <sighs> That's right. Max is, Max is on. He's, he's watching to make sure I don't goof up on this. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Comedy of errors, right? Over and over. Here we go. Hmm. You want the guy really far here. That's the guy you want. He's really useful. Yeah. That's reverse psychology. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing my degree is good for. You know, I took a psychology course in school, and I've taken quite a few psychology courses. So, so it doesn't work on Why me. Why did you pick the blue one? That is so rude. <laughs> because they're by my boat. I need to win. What do you mean your boat? That's not your boat. <laughs> Well, my color, whatever it is. You're up now, aren't it's you? Collective. Yeah. Yeah, it's collective. Oh, really? Pick any blue one you want in the oh. very back. It's, it's not your boat. So yeah, it doesn't it doesn't boat. matter yeah. then. Yeah, okay. so why did you pick that one? Yeah, Caleb, it doesn't have because your name Because it. it doesn't matter. They're all up front, so. You could have picked this one. <laughs> There's really? nobody, nobody has the boat, nobody has ownership of the boats. Yeah. Okay, well that's good. Unless you want to have ownership of the boats. You can, you can have ownership okay. of the boats. If you, if you pick all the same blue guys, then... That's what I was trying to do, but everyone keeps picking blue guys. Oh, oh so then that's how you pick... Whoa. Well, what a... You don't need to have ownership what, of the boats. I'm just very obsessed with blue. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, co you confuse them, that's your own fault. Uh, yeah. Right. You're up you assume one. the blue is your color. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh, it you doesn't love my matter. pinup shirtless Instagram post. Thank you. I wanted to do a little something, a little spicy, there, but I, also a little, you know, it's, it's kind of just like a, a little taste. <laughs> see, I, I left this blue one right there for you. We, we have, um, Alicia's got one too, a picture for, we're going to post up on Instagram of her sitting in a box. And then of course, <laughs> Callie and Alicia both sitting in a box as well. Yeah. It was, it was a take on, um, it was like a, a very light, friendly parody on, on Meg, uh, Professor, Professor Meg. She does a lot of the box sitting stuff. So we thought it'd be kind of funny to, uh to do one we of our do our own yeah yeah, yeah. We, we, we wanted to, we want to make it a trend so quality stuff yeah i thought so yeah. so we added it we added a shirtless picture of me sitting in a awesome. box going like doing some like sexy nice. <laughs> uh, uh, not really sexy but uh attempting to be all right your turn you can just say being sexy <laughs> uh, yeah it just wouldn't be the truth though okay yeah. see quality, it makes for quality content i'm gonna leave the blue <laughs> yes. one for you thank you i appreciate it <laughs> Appreciate That's that what too. friends are for. Why can't we be friends? <laughs> I mean, you did give me a red X though last week. <laughs> I also gave you a green check. See, I repaid the favor by giving you a blue. Oh, I stole her blue, didn't I? Yes, you did. Uh, but you did it me. purposely. You're killing me, Larry. Uh, it was an accident. Oh, right. Just like I the, saved the last blue one for the you. The last blue one is for you. <laughs> We're running out of, uh, out of options here now, I think. There's no blue ones left. Yeah, I'll just take the green one that's in the middle here. Is there going to be one unused piece? So, there should be, no, it should no, be fully... Should be fully I'll fully take the red it. one so that you can have green, because green is closer to blue. Green is actually blue and yellow. <laughs> It, it looks it looks more similar. I see. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so now we've drafted all of our guys. Now we're going to be utilizing our board here uh, to move. And there's a bunch of different movements. I'll go, I'll go over them really quickly just for you guys to understand how they work. And then we'll start with uh, with Alicia, who's already played the game, so it'll be easy for her. The first one is movement. It's simply going to be, I, could, I have seven points of movement. I can go one, two, uh, three, and four, and I would spend four points. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> one, two, three, four. Um, the other one down here at the bottom is a switch. You can spend three to swap 
one character with another. Okay? Three what? Three points. You have seven points. Just think about, like, dollars. You have seven dollars, like and you're going to spend your currency in order to do movement. And on the board here, at the very top of the board, is going to have a number for the cost in order to do the move. Move regularly, and you have to always move into empty spaces. You can swap. Uh, this top one up here is going to let you bump up to two other players. So if you're here, you can go uh, bump, bump. And that would cost you a total of three or two if your character had the symbol on it. Uh, a bottom one, uh, the next bottom one is going to be a jump. So you can jump over a character like that. And that's going to cost you three. Um, then you have this one up here. lets you squeeze through certain things for four. The uh, next one underneath that is going to let you jump over terrain pieces. Uh, the next one here is basically the one that has a three symbol on it. So all these characters with a three symbol can either do the uh, squeeze or jump over terrain. But it will cost you three points to do either or. And then the... Um, the other one is a plus one, which means that you can, if you move a character once on your turn, you'll get a bonus movement with that character. <clears throat> and let's go here. Um, the other ones here symbolize certain things that happen in the game. Like, for instance, if you are uh, swapping characters from here or anywhere up uh, past the water point, you can swap for one. Uh, so you're able to kind of move your, you can swap, as opposed to like here where it's going to cost you additional points. It'll always cost you just one to swap in this area because you're just trying to move your characters up. And the final thing is you can move onto the boat. So if you got this red guy and he is, uh, let's say he's right here, I can go one and two. And then I would move this guy in here for three points, right? And you're trying to move them into their exact spaces. One of the unique little thing here to note is that your characters must go into the boats that they are matching but they don't have to be the same color as long as the color is different the first time that walks on it. So for instance, this red guy can go on this space here, Yay. but the next guy that can go here, it has to be this blue version of him. Once that happens, mm -hmm. no more characters can go on there. And there's only one other one character that can go underneath. Now there is a cost, uh, which one was like this? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Now, there is a cost, though. Uh, you get bonus points, four points, if you manage to get your character with that right, the right color onto the boat of that correct color. So if you get a blue guy on a blue boy, boat, four points. Uh, red guy with a red boat, four points. If not, you don't get those four points. Uh, another thing to note, too, is these are empty spaces. Anybody, can, Any characters can go here. There's three uh, characters can go here, two here, and three here. And when you get onto these boats, you're going to not only get the four points at the end of the game if they match color, but you're also going to get these secret bonus points. The first character on the blue boat will get six points, and you'll take that and hide it. Five points, four, three, so on and so forth. And the same is said for all the rest of these as well. Uh, you'll also be scoring points at the end of the game based on your position on the boat. So six, six, five, and two. And you'll also score negative points for any characters that get trapped in the fog by the end of the game. Okay? Makes sense? Uh, so Alicia will go ahead and start. I have this little tracker here. I, I, the piece is over there, so I'm just using this one here. So pardon my my different colored piece. But uh, uh, it will go here. It'll go blue. It'll go pink, black, yellow, and then it'll go yellow again. And the fog will move. The fog will move up, and yellow will take their turn. Bam! Up here, it'll go blue, pink, black. The fog will go and black will go again. And that's kind of how we go throughout the entire game up until the point where the fog reaches uh, the very end here. Okay. Makes sense, hopefully. <laughs> okay. All right, Rockford, yes. you have a good one, all right? I'll see you at the next con, I'm sure. I am going to move this guy. He's going to squeeze here for two. So, she, yeah, she's, gonna, she's sliding through here. Now, normally to squeeze, it would, it's going to cost you a four. But because her character has the little squeeze icon, she can spend uh, two points instead, which means <clears throat> that she could also do this one this again one if she wanted to. Is mm -hmm. going to go here for... Oh, wait, wait, wait. That is uh, jumping over terrain. Yeah. Oh, you're going to spend the actual normal... Sp okay, so yeah, you can spend the normal cost of three to just simply jump. Mm-hmm. The jump is the two, this one, right? Yeah. No, that, that, that's, no, that's squeezing. Uh, jumping is this uh, one over here. And this one goes over a person for two. Um, does that work? Can you jump over... You have to jump directly over, I think. You have to jump directly over. Yeah, that would be squeezing, cool. right? Yeah, only obstacles that's, can go to the side. Is that squeezing? Yeah, that's oh. a it's squeeze. Like That'd be a squeeze, yes. Oh, okay. Then... This one can squeeze for two. Where, where is he at? Here? Yeah. That would be a jump. Squeeze as you go through through two. Oh, 
Oh. Right, you're not you're not going through. You're you're you're, you're jumping, jumping over. Yeah. <laughs> so this character could have went squeeze, squeeze, and won, and then she could have jumped. But that would. That would be two, and then it would be four and five, and then six, seven. Is that how much this one is? Yeah. yeah it's three. It's two, right? Because she, oh no, it's three because it's a jump, not a, not a terrain. Yeah. It's kind of all about action management, movement, how much you can spend, that kind of thing. Where's the pirates with Hook in the fog? Good question. I just I just was looking at the the show Pan with um, Hugh Jackman playing Blackbeard. And he was singing a Nirvana song. Nirvana song. Uh, it smells like teen, teen spirit. spirit. That's correct. A mulatto. I'm an albino. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Bullshit. I'm just kidding. Uh, family friendly. All right. Where else are you going to go? Head squeeze twice with that guy and stuff. And that would be four. Yeah. Oh, wait. Then I could do that. So you've got seven. So six, five, four, three, two. You have two points left. Actually, no, I can't because it's, this one has to jump for three. Yep. Okay. So, no. Okay. So, one, one two. two. Squeeze once. And one, two, three. It's five. You have two left. Okay. I am going to move this one here. One. So, one more and left. Looks like, yeah, I move him again. Or you can move this one up. I would move this one up so you can squeeze yeah. next turn if you need to. Okay. Excellent. All your movement is done. Go to zero. Pink's turn next. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, the smoke machine. Yeah, I wish. I, I'm just trying to make the screen. <laughs> just trying to make this work the was the machine, most important right? thing. I do have a fog machine out there that I oh, have yeah. used for streams in the past, but <laughs> I just want to make sure that this worked. We have a new um, new internet too. I have to set up, which is going to give us triple the speed, so mm. it should be even higher quality, which would be nice. I just have a, so which one is a squeeze? Fog, this yeah. is right oh, yeah. here. That would be the real fog. Mm -hmm. So that's a squeeze, then really and then. Escape. So yeah, the first six, the ones that are white, are the basic abilities. And then the other two next to them, these two on the far right, are only if the character has that. Mm. This character that has a three can do either of these abilities, which are this one and this one. And this one here just gives you a plus one to movement. So you just want to move your characters up. That's all that's important. And the fog is going to start coming eventually. What is this one? You can... What is this called? That lets you bump, so you can do this. Oh... Perfect. But wait, does there have to be like space in between for you to bump them, or how does that work? You push this guy who pushes this guy. Okay. But right, I'm saying like if I have one that can bump back there, does there you have, have to, to have? You can only bump two other characters, so you could do something like this. Oh, right, so you couldn't you couldn't use this guy to bump because there's too many characters up in front. Can you swap with terrain? Or only no, with other terrain stuff? stays still. Hmm. Standard. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Just go. Hmm. Just, just, just move. You'll, you'll figure it out <laughs> as we go along. Okay. So. So plus one gets three spaces to move. Is that what this means? So if no, I... it just means you get plus one. If you move it to, if you move that character with a plus one two spaces, you get a bonus one for three. Okay. So if I have this right, what is this one right here? It says it jumps over terrain. Okay. It's gonna so cost that you means... four unless you have a character with it that has two. So I could go over. Yep. So that costs how much? Two. Two. Because your character has the ability. Okay. Any character can do any ability, but if they have a little symbol on or icon, it's gonna cost less. That's two. So you might you move your character down two. Or your tracker, I should say. Um. 
you could you could bump you could bump all these guys with this one here. And that's that'll only cost you two points to do that. You could go one, two, three, and that'll cost you two points. <laughs> bump. Yeah. And then you can move this guy up if you wanted. That is probably a good idea because one I don't want to get stuck yep. in the fog. So one point there. And then you can get this guy up as well for one point. That sounds good to me. And you have one left. <laughs> you have one left. So you can um, probably move this guy or this guy. Beautiful. Black's turn, which happens to be me. Uh, one and two. I know, I'm, I'm pushing myself in, I suppose, huh? Me, Larry. Two. It's getting quite congested in there. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, and seven. And that's all for me. Beautiful. Nice. Don't let them say I'm not beautiful. <laughs> okay. Eminem fans out there? Yeah. Run, Forest, run! Can't move. Can't move. Okay, I'll spend one to move forward. Yep. Yep. And then I'll spend. Can I squeeze through? I can't squeeze through the terrain. Sure. Can I? sure. I can? Yep. And that's one, right? Uh, it's going to cost you two. Because this character. You want this one here to go here? Yeah. That'll cost you two. Because okay. it normally costs you four, but this character has the ability, so it only costs okay. you two. And it tells you there on the, on the thing. Uh, right here, right? Yep. It. And then I have, what, four left? So. Directions. <laughs> directions, what do I need them for? You can move this I don't guy up. Yeah, I can spend one to move him, and he gets a plus one. Yeah, but it only works once. Right. So you can do it again. Yes. And I wonder if uh, I can just advance him all the way up. Just spend my remaining three to move him up. You certainly could. And I get four. You wouldn't get four. You only get to do this ability one time. Because uh, otherwise you'd do right. one and get a plus one. One and a plus one. You only get a plus one once. <laughs> That'd be too OP, right? Overpowering, right? Yep. So. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Is there anything I can move? I'm pretty much stuck because you walled me in. You sandwiched me in, so. You could always swap for three. I could. That's right. Is it worth it, though? I don't know. Oh, it's yellow's turn now. Yeah, I think I'll just spend my remaining three and move him three. Okay. One, two, three. Does that work? Three. Three. Those little okay. lines indicate the difference. So, it. yeah, it's one, and then you go two, and then you would go three. Is that good? And then that would move that guy in next turn. Yep. Perfect. And then this is going to go here. Everybody's going to refresh their boards. Uh, and this Wait, should is, I this have track's not go put him there? One. Or... No, it's fine. No, it's fine. Okay. And uh, Callie, when I, we move the to the yellow marker, does that cube move to eight, right? And then seven, and then when six happens is when the flood, the fog. Yes. Okay, so we move that. Then this nine over here is going to move to eight. And as you say, when it gets from seven to eight to six, this is going to start coming up and blocking spaces. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so now it is going to be yellow's turn. Oh. Yep, you get double you get double bonus turn. Does it go back and forth like that? Oh, it, it just does, follows right? the it follows the little tracker there. Okay. So we're all gonna get double turns at one point. So I go back to seven. Everybody goes back to seven and you start again. Okay. I'm once all the characters interested. get on the boats, or once the marker reaches zero, that will end the game. Can I still move this guy up one? Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Because I want to put him up in here, right? Yep. On his face. Or oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Can one. I spend one. To Two. Yep. You spend two. He goes right here. One. Well, he gets two. his plus one, right? Oh, that's true. Yep. <laughs> then you get this six pointer. Thank you. And you get six points at the end of the game, and you get four points for having them be the right color. Excellent. Okay. And you keep going. Okay. Am I allowed to move laterally, like over here? Yeah. Can so if I. Sure. So we want their faces to match the color of the boat. Is that what's happening? You want, yeah. The yes. the, co the color of the character is where you want <clears> them <throat> to go. What boat they want them to go to. Okay. This guy's a uh, pusher, right? Is that what it is? Which one? This guy. Uh, yes. He He's counts two instead of three. Yeah. And you don't have to push. You can push up to two guys. Okay. So if you want to just push one, you can do that as well. Okay. 
But I can it can't push terrain, obviously. No, right? so. terrain is never going to move. The oh, rocks and trees to are too big. Them, then, so. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yep. Awesome. I like beautiful. <laughs> and then swap is three. This one, three, right? This one? No. Uh, this one. Yep. Right. Far yeah. bottom left. That's so frustrating. Blue. I still have four. Move, push, bump, jump. Squeeze, terrain jump, two special abilities. Yeah. Well, this guy's free now, so I can actually yep. move him up. Three, if I wanted to. Or this guy. Or which guy? This guy? Oh, both of those are yours, yep. Yeah, but I want to get it to red, though. That's the yep. only thing, so I'll just move one, yep. two, yep. three, four. Beautiful. And it goes to blue. Go ahead, Alicia. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, one, two, three, four. Yep. <laughs> She's learned from last time. <laughs> you know, I wonder, you I wonder if you could have just spent a uh, the pusher and spent only three. Mm, no, but it's only for three coins, thing. though, right? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, you can't jump over train with this guy because it costs four. Yeah. You can't squeeze through the terrain. Nope. <laughs> Three more movement. Hmm. Well, you got more characters. You can just move up to here if you want. Yeah. Move this guy over here. Yeah, you can move these guys to these areas here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I just think of the rock. Two, three. From yep, Moana, there you go. Remember. I do. Yeah. What can I say except you're, you're welcome? <laughs> and then it pinks up next. And you got your character into the space you needed to go into. And both these spaces give you six, so they're both pretty good. And these are actually randomly allocated at the beginning of the game. We just drop these down, and then you put from highest to lowest. Do the faces have to match? Yeah, they do have to match. Uh, in order to get the six point, the full points, the and full you benefit? You get six points for getting the character there, and it has to be the same character. Okay. And you get four points for having the right color, and then you get the points from the top here based on uh, when you got there. When? When you got there, yeah. She got there second, so she gets five. He got there first, she gets, he gets six, and the next person will get four. Mm. Nice. <laughs> I guess there's perks too. Plus one. <laughs> okay, so I could just move all three of these. Right. You could move one to the side. Like that. One. And then. Two. Three. So. Yeah. Four left. And then. So the person with the three, do they have both of these abilities? They do. Wow. Exactly. Look at that, but it costs three. And they each cost three instead of four. If I wanted to move like this, one, uh -huh. two, three, four. You can go up here too if you want. Oh. That's four. Okay. There you go. All right, Black's turn. <laughs> wow, my guys are very far back. Hmm. I wish I could squeeze through here. That'd be nice. I don't think I can. I get a rule check from the designer who's watching. He might be able to tell me if I can actually squeeze through there. I can squeeze through the forest and then I can. I don't. But it has to be to an open space. Right, right, right. Yeah. right. You can oh. squeeze between a forest and a non... One. Non two. Non board. Oh, beautiful. Three, four. <laughs> really? Two, four. Three left. Three left. These guys are stuck. <laughs> yeah, it's really congested back there. <laughs> And Philip's bumping the fog up. That'll go <laughs> down there. That'll get me a six pointer there. <laughs> Philip, what are you doing to yourself? You're already bumping the fog up. <laughs> One Excuse and me. two. And that will end my turn. This will go here. This will go here. Next turn, uh, the fog is going to start coming. Uh, I get seven more. Everybody resets again. I hate oh, the fog. Good. Okay. Um. Uh, you guys are get, not giving me a lot of options here. <laughs> right? One, two, and th mm. three. 
one, two, and three. What do you mean? All of Philip's pieces are blocking one, two, the three, exit. Four, <laughs> one, two, three, and then a swap for four. Oh, wow. Remember, swapping is only going to cost you one in this area. So if you, on your turn, really? you can swap for one again as well. Yes. In the um, water only. And now we're going to go to yellow. All right. You're up, Philip. Thank you. Yes. Yes, you can. All right, Robert. Good. Glad I figured that out. You're going to place your bets, Robert, on who's going to win? This guy. Who's got two thumbs in is going to win? This guy. But you said that I was going to win last time. I know, and you and lost, it didn't so happen. you're no longer my dark horse. Ah! I could have won. <laughs> Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Suggested. I wonder how many spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, wait, 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 where are you? This guy. Okay, so, so one, two, three, four... And five. Then five. So I could run them all the way in there. You absolutely could. And get points. Yep. Okay. So I'm quite congested. And that would mean that you'd have two pieces and already. So mm -hmm. are you cheating? You could also try and avoid the fog. You can go like right here for one and then you could bump if you wanted. Does he have the bump though? He d everybody has all the, all the abilities. Yeah, yeah, but it costs more. Mo uh, it does. Okay. Does the fog only eat the bottom row? Is that what it is? Well, yes. Mm -hmm. So they come from the row, the next row, and the next row. the bottom row. row is the most expensive one. Yeah. You lose a lot more points at the bottom uh, row I there. I see. Mm -hmm. Nine, eight, yeah, seven. Yeah, I better move them then. So I'm going to go one, one and eat one. And yeah. I'm going to bump. So that's going to cost me, what, three? Yep. One, two, three. Yep. Now I'm safe. Yep. At least for this round. Yep. And then I think I will advance my main guy. In the front row. Okay, do it. Three. Sure. One, <laughs> two, three, right? Yep. And there you go. All right, and then blue. When does the fog roll in? Uh, here. After everybody takes one turn, this will move up, and when it hits the six, the fog will come up to the, this point here, and uh, then five, and then so it'll start coming. It's going to start churning up after this point. It'll be killer. Wah, wah, wah. It's going to be intense. <laughs> uh, That's the, uh, the pusher, right? Yeah, but... One, two, three, four. If I wanted to do Serious two, business mode? Let me push them up. The cost of two. Yeah. Smart choice. I could push them again for two. Yep. One, two, and three for two. And remember, you can swap for one. Yep. And then <coughs> Pink's turn. So I can swap back? Yes, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> so one. And then um, I can do one, two, three. Yep. Goodness gracious. Four points. Oh my. Um, <laughs> okay. And then I could do, let's see. I forgot to give him plus one, by the way. But he, so he technically could have gone there. Right? So then. Oh, I, yes. If you wanted them there. I could, could do. I don't know. Nah. Maybe. Based on who moves where, I guess. I could do one, two, three. That's yep. With this right. one. This one's optional. I okay. imagine it would be, yeah. I hope so. Mr. Design. Okay. Yeah, he might know. <laughs> I imagine it's optional, I guess. Okay. Otherwise, you just move one less. Thou shall not pass. <laughs> you all done? You so, shall not pass. <laughs> this is going to go here. <laughs> this will go up to six. And this area on the board gets covered up. Yay, nobody got covered. And uh, pink is again. Oh, Refresh nice. your boards. Every refreshes. That's beautiful. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> hmm. Well, 
you got characters. You got these guys to deal with. Because remember, this is going to start coming up. You don't want to get those negative points if you can avoid it. So... What does this one mean again with the little... That's a push trigger. It's a bump. It's it's a bump. Tell, it literally tells you on the, on the little chart here. Yeah. You could you can bump up to two more. Yeah. Bump. So that's one. Yeah. And then... Uh-huh. That'll cost you two. <clears throat> um... And then we, how much does it cost anything when we jump to that open From space? here to yeah. here, it's a squeeze. So the squeeze is going to normally cost you four. Okay. But you have a character, this character here, can do it for three. That can do it for three. So you can go from here to here oh. for three. Oh. Well. Perfect. <laughs> so. You have one left. Think. Not a lot of options. This guy is pretty much your main option, yeah. or this guy here. Yeah, <laughs> that's guy. it. Those are the only options. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Black is gonna go, which is me, and I'm going to do this one and two. Hmm. I wish I could jump. I wish I could push. Kind of still trapped in the corner there. Yeah, if only the back ones could push. Uh, but nobody in the back can push, except for this one. That's furthest back pusher. Let's see. One, two. Can I, I can jump over train, but that's going to cost me four. I do not have four. I do not have four. Hmm. I do have three, though. One, two, and three. Which will let me one of these guys here. And that'll be it for me. Down to yellow. Nobody's going to this boat yet. Mm -hmm. Some good points here left. Mm hmm Okay. Push. This cost me three not bad to have the character that's not the same color go here. You just won't get those bonus four points. We want the points. <laughs> you got a character here. No I wonder you were trying to jump. get all the blue. <laughs> Why? That's you. not a benefit. Jump. You could swap. You could push. whole bunch of things. Swap. Swap is me. Yeah, it is. <laughs> is it? Yeah, but it's a valid strategy. When does the next fog roll move? Mm, pretty soon after blue takes their turn, it'll it'll move up again. Okay, so I better move my guys out then. Yep. Okay, so I will spend three to push. Does that work? Or no? Uh, or sure. Swap. Yeah. What's the jump cost? So the jump cost is what three also. The jump is better than yeah. But then for my you, guy, my guy right here yeah. is still stuck. Well, still, that's a <clears throat> good thing to do. That's gonna cost you three, and then mm -hmm. you could also swap your character oh, yeah. with mine. There you go, another three. Yep. And I don't have an extra turn, so that guy's gonna get trapped for a <laughs> negative eight. <laughs> and you have one more point left. Oh boy! Oh my! This guy. Yeah, you'd be smart. Okay, I'll spend one to move him. Yep. Up. Yep. Perfect. And then blue's going to go. And then after that, the fog will roll in and blue will take another turn. So you have Thank two you. turns here. You're welcome for hurting me. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, Terry, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. We were playing the game uh, The Fog, Escape from Paradise. Uh, basically, our objective is to move our characters of our color onto the boats and avoid the upcoming fog. The fog's going to start traversing the terrain, the map, uh, from round to round. And we're just basically trying to avoid getting trapped. Uh, my character's already about to get trapped, though, which is sad. <laughs> so background of this game, is this game out? It will be on Kickstarter. On Kickstarter, okay. Yes. And it's up to four players? Mm -hmm. It is up to four, yes. So we're playing the With a solo capacity. player as well. Uh oh so there's a solo player, too. Yep. Interesting. Take that. For ages 10 and up. 
Uh, yes, I believe so. Mm -hmm. 45 to 80 minutes. Oof. Oh, there's also a 1 to 6 for the Kickstarter as well. And this is a review copy. This is the prototype. Yes. 1 to 6 version. March 8th is the Kickstarter. March 8th is the Kickstarter. 2022. Oh, wait, I have. This is a very eye catching table presence. I agree. It's a very colorful game. So yeah. you, wow. you move 3 and 4? Yeah. Okay, so you get this as well. Beautiful. Uh, and then this is going to go here. We're going to move this up. The fog is going to eat my guy, which makes me very sad. Wah, wah. <laughs> and uh, you get to go again. One, two, three, and... Which I guess is the same thing as just bumping them, or pushing them. If, you're, if this character had that ability, it would be very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I can jump over a person for three. You have Oof. three points there. Oof. You got one left. Okay. When does the next bog roll? When it gets to here? Yep. Okay. So we got one turn to... We only have about five rounds left, because this is going to take up this whole space, and this whole space, and then finally that one. Oh, wow. It takes up the whole space? I whole believe, I believe so, yeah. So it's actually two rows, and, and then... <laughs> All done? Pink's turn? Yeah, okay. we're, we're starting to get down on it now. Once the fog starts rolling, and that's when it's like serious business time. So I could move this here for one, one and then I could bump this. Sure. Right? For, for two? Yep. Yeah. Two, three? Uh, one, two. This is a competitive game. We're all doing our best to reach the boats individually, trying to get there before any other player. We're filling up the boats here. And you can just keep taking your turn while I explain this. But yeah, we're filling up our boats with our characters. So there's a draft at the beginning of the game where we draft our characters that are on the island. And then after that, we'll have movement points on our turn. And we'll spend those to do certain types of movements, which are located on our player boards. This is a jump. To get them onto the boats. Blue to blue, red to red, green to green. That's a jumper. And then we'll score so points based here. on how soon we get them yes. there. You how can. high up on the boat we are. Can you? As this a is a squeeze. This is you're, if you're, you're squeezing through these two. So the squeeze yeah. is going to be four. Uh, four points. Uh, but yeah, and there's certain abilities mm. that cost certain uh, certain prices depending on what characters you have, and each character has their own unique ability. This one was open, and you jump from there. To and the game has also got this unique mechanic that kind of pushes you ahead quickly because there's a fog that rolls through as as the game continues. <clears throat> and then, let's see. And one, two. It's also very nice, the top-down presence, is, make, you can see exactly what's happening, you understand the concept of what's going on. They're spending their points of movement to move their specific characters up to their specific boats. When they have no movement left, it's the next player's turn. All your movement is done, now it is my turn, and I'm going to have to try to start moving. Uh, hmm, hmm, I lost my guy. You. <laughs> Did I deduct points from you? Eight points. Yes. It's a whole lot of points. Okay, so this guy can squeeze. And that's going to cost me two. And then one, two, I guess. To get this. Hmm, I still got... So that was two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. I have three points left. Three points. This will go up one. And... Hmm. This can jump terrain, but that's not very useful right now. There's no more movement I can do with that. So I've got these two other guys left. And they're green, sadly. Very sadly. So, one, two. We'll just move these guys both up one. That's me at zero. And we'll go to yellow. All right. I'm going to spend one to move my guy. Up. Yep. And what's nice about this game is you can kind of think of your turn as other players are taking their turns. Where you want to move, your, your most likely priority move spaces, and of course you may or may not uh, stick with that, but you at least have some type of idea of what you're doing. Awesome. Trying to keep your boogie rag on the table? <laughs> Tissue on the field, yep. <laughs> Come on, Philip. Come on. Uh, the 
the positive move again when it hits the Oh, I see it something will, yes. really yeah. perfect. Thank you. <laughs> I see such a clear path for one of my pieces. This is great. There's also a timer involved in the game, too, if you want to utilize oh, there that, is? which I would specifically use. That would give me a better <laughs> chance of winning, because I always take my turns very fast. Okay. So what I are you squeeze. trying to say? <laughs> that you guys are slow. Can I squeeze yeah. here? No, but I, no. Am, I am actually mentioning Didn't you squeeze here earlier? Yes, you can. Absolutely. Yes. Can yeah. I? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, there is a timer involved, so you can speed up the process <laughs> of the game. that's four, Philip. It is been four. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then I shall have two more, right? Uh, yes. Squeeze through. And this guy's up there, so I mm. guess I can spend... Yeah, he's a plus one, he's a plus one. She's a squeezer. She's a squeezer? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, squeezer. Or... The guy with the plus one, does it have to be that guy that goes an extra space? Yes. Each character has their ability, and that's the only special ability they get specifically. Okay. Then I will go ahead. There's no places to squeeze, so I can't use my ability, so I'm just going to spend my final two on... One, two. Perfect. That's it. And the fog is going to roll up. Boop. Womp womp. <laughs> and uh, yellow gets to go again. Hey. Doodly doodly doodly. And everybody else can go ahead and move their trackers back up as well. Okay. Probably want to get this guy in. This guy? Yeah. Yeah. Does it cost one, two, three? No. It only costs you one mm. and two. two. All right. I'll spend two. And that will get you a four-pointer. Thank you for the four-pointer. That's right. <laughs> get this guy in just what there's no. no more old man faces so you have so. to go here then and that's two or one or another boat that'll cost you three or you go on another boat too yeah and try to put it to the old man too you won't get you will get the bonus points here but you won't get the plus four for color so should I just this go will give then? yeah I would probably yeah. how much does it cost three one two three you can't enter from the side no no I don't think so Oh, can you enter from the side? I guess. I thought you can. I guess you can. I have excited about this Kickstarter. When is, what is the player two. count? The player count is one to four for because the review copy, but the Kickstarter, trailer. I think, says six players. I think So I think the Kickstarter will be six-player game, one to six. Yeah, it looks like you can enter from the side. Yeah. Oh, this is brutal. I really want to get this guy out. <laughs> but it's all congested. I can't do nothing. I think it's, it can swap, actually. Move. This one, and then push that. Yeah, theoretically, yeah. you could jump this, and then you could push these guys. Yeah. Perfect. The push, <laughs> is, uh, the push is three. I only have five left. And what's the jump? The jump is three. three also. Yeah, you're off by one. Yeah. Then you can move and push. Yeah. That's what that I'll do, actually. Four. Yep, you can, yeah, you can, oh, yeah, yeah, you can move there. Yep. So I'll one. One. No, you, one, and then I'll... Push and that will cost me three. Yep. One, two, three. Yep. And we're saved. One left. Can I squeeze through here or no? Not for one point. No. Okay. So you have options to either move this guy or this guy. Those are your only options. Okay. <coughs> Who moved that back there? One moved back there. Right. Okay. You can even move this this guy and go here to there. Oh, okay. So it'll be okay. quicker. Yeah. 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 Uh, Perfect. then blue. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. A three-pointer. Nice. And one more point. <clears throat> one more nice. point of movement. Very nice. So your options are this guy or that guy. Yeah, I'm going to wait to move that one. I'm going to move this one. Okay. And pink. Okay, so... I could do one, two, three, four, five. If I move this. One, one two, two, three, three four, four, and five. five. Yep. And you'll get that last little bonus point there. You got two more left. And then... Hmm. Let's 
let's see. I guess. <laughs> One, One, two. two. All right. And then black, which is me. And I, happily avoiding... So I'm going to jump over a person, which is going to... Oh, no, it's a terrain piece. Oh, that's four. That's so expensive. Oh, yeah. That's so <laughs> expensive. How about I spend two instead, though, and I jump this terrain piece? It is nicer, though, because it doesn't let me jump from the side. But how, I can squeeze with that guy, I guess. What's the cheapest one? Squeeze is going to cost me four. Jumping the terrain will cost me four. I could bump for three. One, two, three, four. I'll just jump the terrain. And then one. Let's go ahead and get this guy up. All right, and that will move this. This is going to go up, and this will eat. Wah, wah, <laughs> wah. All right, back to seven for everybody. Right. And I've got to start getting my guys up. One, two, three, and four. That'll give me a five-pointer. Is that the same guy? Yeah, the same guy. What does the double face mean? Uh, two girls can go there, I think. Really? Yeah, I believe so. The green boat, Kelly. The two girls can go there, I think, right? I think so. That would make sense. Um, I got three guys left because one of the guys, one of the guys got eaten up. Hmm. With three extra movement left, one, two. Three. That's it. Yellow, you're up. So in this next phase, Callie, here, this is this this fog is gonna take over all this area here, huh? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's deadly. Double. You gotta start closing the gap here. Okay, so I'm gonna spend one to move the guy up. Then I'm gonna use his ability, one, two, three, to hop the train. Yep. And then <laughs> I'm gonna spend sorry, did I do good? And then I'm going to I'm going to have at least one more turn before the next fog moves, right? Uh, you will not. It's going to go to blue, pink, and then the fog is going to move up to here. Boy, we've got to What's the squeeze get those cost? pieces off so of wait, there. No, am I going to have at least one more movement before the fog moves up twice? The answer is no. Oh, schnapps. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Philip. I feel like crap. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to lose any of my pieces. <laughs> uh, I have three. You, you do. I'll swap. You lose <laughs> swap. Wow, that was so rude. Blue. He swapped on me too. Wow. He swapped on me Can when I, I couldn't Can I swap move. back yeah. on yep. him? Yep. <laughs> Trying to follow the rules, man. That's why I'm asking all these questions. Wow. Oh my god. Wait, I don't need it because Alicia made a clear path for me at the moment. Yes. <laughs> it's just that I, the fog was gonna move, and if I didn't get him out of here, I was gonna die. So. Well. Uh, this is unacceptable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you're next, so. Okay. Pink, you're up. How much does it cost? <laughs> Three. Three. <laughs> <laughs> that was not good. I already had a piece bumped oh, out. Come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. That's what you get, Philip, for being Okay, so wait, wait. One, I two, three. To escape. That's it. I didn't mean to put you in harm's way. Okay. Oh, really? oh sure. Really? <laughs> um... Me? Let's see. I wish I was pink. What <laughs> do we have here? If I had thought, I thought um, I was saying that one. Oh boy. <clears throat> oh my. <laughs> oh my. Oh no. Okay, oh, so no, I have yes. four oh, moves yeah. left, so. <laughs> hmm. Can jump over the terrain with this guy. You can move him up one. You got these guys. Oh, these are mine. Oh, your guys are. You guys are pink. 
Oh, you're way back there. You're, you're in trouble. So, <laughs> Wait, technically, I could have. This was this open. I should have been. Over yeah, it would here, cost you right? four. It would cost you four to squeeze. I had plus one yeah. though. Plus one is for movement only. Is it for movement only? Plus, it's it doesn't just, include. It's, it's just to move oh empty my spaces. Gosh. You can go one to two. Try to salvage. Um. So if I wanted to, I could. If I wanted to, I, I could to go here, focus. right? This would be one, two. How am I being evil, Max? This, I haven't done anything. Even though it's not the right color, I could do one, two, three. Yes. Okay. Well, I guess I should do one, two. Wait. Was it You're here. So one, one two, two, and three. three. So, and then. Yeah, one left. Oh, yeah. boy. Oh, what was that? Okay. Oh, yeah, you do. Four-pointer. <laughs> Um, well... That's the only guy. Can't move these guys. You only have one point, right? So you can either move this guy to the side, kind of pointless, or you can move this guy up one. Well, does the fog roll up before Philip goes again? It's, no, it's happening right now. Okay, <laughs> because one? I'm like, if he, if he bumps, if he... <laughs> All right, and, you're, and everybody refreshes. <laughs> Thank you. And Caleb goes again. Oh. And you're going again. Perfect. Only Alicia, Alicia's the only person who hasn't gotten by the fog yet. Okay, so yeah, I could so do funny. I could do one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, and then I I I. Um Why are you putting your guys in the wrong color? <laughs> <laughs> because I've got to get there quickly. <laughs> so I could go this way. Yep. Okay. One, two. And one um, left. Am I trapped over here? You are I'm trapped. Completely Tom. trapped. Yeah. Completely. Man. That's it. You go to zero. <laughs> My turn. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. Let's see here. So salty. Very. Um. One plus one. Oh, yeah, swap. <laughs> Dang. Two. I don't, think I, I don't think I can use the plus one, but one, two, and three. How did you swap for? Doesn't it cost three? It only costs one to swap whenever uh, it's in there. That was rude. Don't you think pink looks <laughs> Wait, good in this green in bow? Water? He was in the water. You can swap the people in the water for one. But you weren't in the water. You don't need to be in the As long as you swap with somebody oh. in the water. That was rude. I think, right, Callie? <laughs> as long as somebody else is in the water, you can swap with them for one. I think so. I could be wrong. Um, if, if, if that's the case, I'll spend these extra two to do so. But otherwise, I'm just going to move this guy up here. And in turn. Seven action value for, 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 per turn? Yes, that's correct. Seven seven per turn. And it's yellow's turn now. I've okay. got to get that one. pink piece up away from the fawn. Plus one uses ability. Yep. And then I want to get all my guys out of the one zone, so I'm going <clears> to and squeeze this one here for two. I could squeeze in there for two. That's what I would do. It's cheapest. Yep. And Thank then you, you got this guy here left, and yeah, he's got free. he's free. He's free to just roam the the ocean. I got four <laughs> left. He wants to get here, so yeah, one, two, three, and four. Probably okay, what I would spend do. one for him. One. Okay. I do mm -hmm. want to redeem my guy for okay. one. Can I get, do I get any points? Nope, there's nothing left here. All these are empty now. We've, we've stolen so all the points. Is there any points. benefit to getting them in there? Yeah, you get points for getting them on the ship for their color and for uh, the location. And you don't lose points uh, for them being out here. Can I squeeze between a character and a terrain or no? Yes. Like same if this, I was here, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be able to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. The same okay. thing. Squeeze is a squeeze. Okay. You have, what, two left? You got two left, yep. Yeah. Okay. Then... Probably we'll this guy. This guy, yeah. at least one for him. Robert said, yes, you can swap with the water and get one from the team. Okay, one. yeah, that's what for I think. one? Yeah, in the water. You can swap with one person in the water. From the okay. Boat. Yeah, as long as they're... Yeah, I, basically I played correctly. Okay. One more space. Each step in the boat is one point, though. All right. I'll move up. You do have to pay for movement in the boat. Okay, go ahead. 
I mean, so I'm yeah. done. Okay. Voila. Blue. Okay. We're gonna draw for two. Yep. Two points. Good. Which way? Here. Three. Oh, three. Four. Four. Five. Now, so it's gonna cost her an extra one then to get from here to here. <laughs> Okay, so it's gonna be extra one then. Okay. Because you have to, you have to, you have to get past the sky, I guess. Then I'm gonna wait on that. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. You're gonna stay there. There you go. Because I'm gonna move. So this guy can't go here unless they spend an extra movement point. Go ahead and let, give me clarification on that. I always thought you could just move from here to here. Yeah. Because that's how we've been playing. Yeah. Well, could have been playing wrong, though. <laughs> would, would, wouldn't be the first time. Would not be the first time. <laughs> what is the fog doing? Oh, wait. I have another turn after this. But the fog's going to move first. Oh. oh, the fog is moving first? Yep. So i got to get out of there. you got to move one. Oh, yeah. One, two. <laughs> yep. Uh, is that you empty? This will go here. Caleb. And then, <laughs> oops, this will go here. <laughs> no big deal. Don't worry about it. You're no fine. big deal. You're fine. All right, and you're up again, Blue. Okay. And we play until the fog goes all the way up, or? Yep, zero. Two. Zero. <laughs> hey Josh, where you been, buddy? I thought you were gonna come by and play some games, huh? And Max too. I figured Max would be here as well. <clears throat> okay. Escape from the fog. Beautiful. And Pink's turn. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, you got one guy. So, how much? <laughs> It caught. How much does it cost to bump? It costs. You want to. You probably want to jump with this guy. Either jump. Or... So it's gonna cost you three to jump three, this guy. Yeah. Well, I have no other choice. So <laughs> three, and then you can swap. So one, two, for three. One, right? you yep, swap you can for swap one. for one if you want. Yeah. Four, nice. <laughs> and then five, and then six and seven. So that would put me at zero, right? But that's, yeah. that's all you need to do is get yeah. that guy there. So Perfect. <laughs> and your turn's done now. You have no characters left. All your characters have been eaten up by the by the fog. Black's turn, which is me. Oh, man. I got two guys, and they're all the way there. So what I'm going to do is one, two, and three. Oh, <laughs> Can I even get four, five? Six, seven, only two spaces though. I'm just gonna secure myself on the boat. <laughs> you can do that. Yeah, yeah, you can have. How many up can to... you stack on there? Up to three. Yep. Hmm. So that's it for me. So me and you are done now. We're done though. But Hard yellow, measure. actually, yellow's the last person to go anyway. Uh. I still have people to move. But you're close to the boat. Once it's once it's zero, that's the end of the game, though, I believe. So the fog moves before me, right? Wait, does that mean you have to go on to another boat because all those pieces What's... are, all those spots are taken? Or can you double up on these? Over you can here? double up on here as long as the color is not the right color. Mm. So they, somebody can go here. Somebody can go on these guys here. So the fog is moving up before my turn? Yes. Oh, man. So it's yellow's turn right now. And you want to get all your guys, oh my gosh, a lot of guys, out of the danger zone. Okay. And as many on the boats as I'm you can. getting two turns in a row, but the fog is moving after my first turn, right? You know, Kelly? Yeah, once the fog goes to zero, then the game's over. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So this is it then, right here? Yeah. Okay, this is it. Make it count. I'm going to have seven. You have seven points of movement. Hasn't changed. Same amount of movement as prior. Shoot. So I wonder if I go one, two... It, yeah, remember, there's negative points here, but if you get on the docks, you get, they're not a negative. You just won't score any points either. Yeah. And this can have one person, so I would 
Put one down. Cost two. Any guy can go on, on the back areas, right? The boats, Kelly? Yeah, it doesn't matter who yeah. it is. So you can put your guy, one guy here. You yeah. can put one guy here. This guy is going to die. Because it's going to cost you one, two, three, four to get in. This one's going to be one, two, three to get in. Yeah. So I just got to see who can get in. Make your Take your best guess. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Okay. So I think I'm just going to pop in here for two. Does that work? One, two? Yeah. Yep. Just getting on here will make you not get negative, yeah. though, at least. So yeah. So I probably... One, two? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Three left. Yeah. One, two, three. We'll finish in here, and then... Does this have... Different That'd be negative points? four. Yeah. Probably should put this guy in for one, two, three. One, two, three. He won't make, he won't make enough. He doesn't have enough oh. to get there. What happens if Actually, he Actually, he does. He has a plus one here. So yeah, you can go so one, one, two, three, three and yeah. you can slide that in. Yeah. So, so one, it. two, three, plus his bonus moving in there. Mm -hmm. And that will trigger the end of the game. Uh, this will move to zero. And all these spaces will get eaten. And that is now the end. And we're going to do scoring now. And what we do scoring is by using these little point trackers here. I actually don't know who's going to win. This is uh, was a little extra crazy than the last time. Yeah. So we're going to start with um, the points of the characters in the boats. Okay. So I have one, two, oh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five uh, characters with the right color. So five times four is 20. Okay. And then the next player is going to be, um, we'll just do them in order here, yellow. Yellow's got one, two, three, and four. Four times four, 16, 16 points. And then blue, blue's got one, two, three, four, five, which is also 20. And then pink, one, two, three, <laughs> twelve. That was not a slow exaggeration in showing your low point score, by the way. Are you sure? <laughs> it was not intentional, at least. Uh, the next one here is going to be points for characters in the areas of the boat area. So I'll go ahead and start and show you how it works. Um, I'm going to get uh, six, six, six. It, 18 plus 5, 23, 24, 25, 20, that's 31, 37 points. So 37 and 20 is 57. 57. So I'll put my plus 50, and this will go to 7. And the next character is yellow, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, or 10 and 16, 18, 18 and 16, 34, 34, and then uh, blue, blue's got 6, 12, 14, 20, 26. 46 points and then pink pink's got six six 18 28 points 28 and 12 40 20 and 12 is 40 okay and <laughs> that's all of us for this oh. one here now we're gonna get negative points so we're gonna move this off <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm going to deduct eight points for myself, which will put me at 49, which is very sad. Uh, we're going to do yellow, which is going to be negative three and five, which is also eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to do blue here. Blue has got no, oh no, you got two, two for four points. Well, you're really close with me. Everybody's actually pretty close right now there. And 
pink. Uh oh. I think it's Six, 15. 11, 15 from 40. 25. 25? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. And then our final scoring will be with the bonus points here. So I have 11, 14, 16. One, two, three. Oh, wait. Sorry. Not this. Uh, one, two, three, four, and 10 is 13. Okay. And then yellow, 10. Okay. And then blue? 19. 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 11. Oof. And finally, pink. 13. <clears throat> uh, 38. Right there. And final scores are uh, 36, 38. 61 and 63. So I got my two points. It's really, really close. And that is the game The Fog Escape from Paradise. A pretty intense, fast paced game. Uh, uh, what did you guys think of the game? We'll start with you, Caleb. Um, it was very it was a very interesting game kind of intense um little suspenseful because you don't know like it, it's kind of like when we were playing last week's game there's a little bit of a there's a little bit of a thrill because you can get caught off guard with some of the other characters on the board and being bumped and swapped and trying to get out of the fog uh, before it hits you so I thought it was it was fun it once you get the hang of it it started to become easier and easier so I thought it was a good game we know that Alicia and Michael were neck and neck on this game <laughs> oh I thought she had me for a bit but she I, couldn't get her characters in the very end there yeah I, think. I didn't realize like oh that was my last turn I probably would have done my last turn differently if I had realized that that was my last turn Oh, yeah, the game sped up really quickly at the very yeah. end here, which is, like, it was intense. I, I, I just put my characters in wherever at the end there. Yeah, I would have done that probably <laughs> if I had known. But you did much better this game than the previous game. Like, getting your... Yeah. Like, get, you had a much higher, like, knowledge. Like, your turns were quicker. You, like, con you knew where to control the characters and whatnot. Yeah. And you didn't have any negative points either game, actually, did you? Like, like I did have negative points. Well... Not your your characters at least weren't consumed by the fog though, so yeah. that's that's a positive. Uh, I still managed to get somebody stuck down at negative eight, thanks to somebody over here. Philip is cut. I know he's super cut. Through. <laughs> you liked it, Terry? Yeah, I, I thought this was um, it's a very solid game. It's very very intense though, and um, sometimes there's nothing you can do about certain situations. If you get pulled back mm -hmm. after your turn is over. It's partly the other player's fault, but also I could have jumped to avoid getting swapped. Um, or I could have bumped. There was a couple of different choices I could have made, but it would have given me less progress up here to yeah. score points. So I was willing to sacrifice one character. I think sometimes <clears throat> sacrificing a character is a better uh, solution than allowing yourself to try and push everybody up. Not, not every character is going to win, and that's okay. Um, and the variety of the different point scoring. So like I said, when you take the points here and you flip them over, um, or basically when you drop them then you're going to put them from highest to lowest. So it could have been 7, 6, 4, and 2 would have been the scoring for a different game. So even the scoring there changes the game up a bit. Um, but yeah, overall, a really solid little game. Philip, did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, enjoy yeah, messing over people. Cool. I, was, I like messing with people and trolling people. <laughs> Always. And uh, it was a little frustrating at points and, and because I didn't realize that I got all the plus one guys. So I was like, man, I can only use them if I spend the one point for them. But and no, then you I tried to swap me. I tried to swap you. <laughs> he did swap realize. me. He was able to get me. <laughs> and I didn't realize that you were going to swap me. I was me like, oh no, mode, I don't so think so. Like, this no. is not happening. So I just ate it, to tell you the truth. But... <laughs> he was going to take two people out by swapping. 
But uh, I, I, I was struggling because it was, I was trying to decide whether I was going to prioritize getting my guys into the boat or if I was going to get my guys out of the fog. So it was kind of a 50-50. Well, look at it this way. You only have two characters on there. I have three. So <laughs> That's not my fault. My so. guy was in the very back, though. <laughs> so I lost eight points in this guy here. Alicia had two guys, but because she was so far up, she only lost four with both of them. So you definitely want to avoid getting characters stuck back here. It was a major error on my part. Uh, I could have scored so much better. And uh, I think this getting these characters in here was, was, was nice. Little extra bonus points. Four points is nice getting a little character yeah. at the very end if you possibly can. You were only down by like two points from me. Yeah. So you had... And I could have gotten just the ones that were close <laughs> on the boat. And I was like, no, I'm going to get them in the right spot. <laughs> and then I didn't realize the fog was coming. <laughs> so yeah, it was fun overall. Good. Messing Glad you guys, you guys liked so. it. It's a game that's coming out in March, March 3rd, right, Callie? 8th, March 8th, uh, The Fog, Escape from Paradise. This will also be on YouTube so that uh, we'll have it all cut up so we can fix all the little bugs and whatnot. But we're going to transition really quickly here to our next game, Athanasia, uh, which you four will be playing now, and I'll switch on to the comms so you guys don't have to deal with me anymore. Lucky <laughs> you. And uh, you can deal with uh, Callie's cutthroatery because if you think I'm cutthroat, Max, <laughs> prepare yourself for something even more intense. We are playing Athanasia, which is coming soon to Kickstarter. The link is in the pinned comment and or description and goes to the website where you can sign up for more information. And in this game we're playing, um, it is how many, two to seven, three to seven, three to seven players. We're going to be playing a four player game. We've each chosen a color for our uh, different, what is it, uh, species or tribe here that we're all playing. And we're going to, from the seven available characters, we're going to choose six to play with. So everyone's going to, going to do that as part of the setup. And uh, in a minute here, we'll take it to the top down as well, well where you can see the, the setup so far for the game, all the different elements of the game. We have the main board here, which we are trying to either be the last one standing or create the immortality key and get that key to the exit with one of our characters. This game is about controlling the, the areas, controlling different items, and using those items to fight each other, steal items, and be either the last one standing or the one able to escape. <laughs> All right, let's get the top down. Okay, for Athanasia, we've got the main board here which you can see has a bunch of portals. And these portals go out to our different uh, locations. So the blue one goes to the blue one. This red fiery one goes, I think it's to that one. Mm -hmm. And then I have a purpley blue one. Yeah, that one. And then Philip has this kind of everything one. Yeah, different components there. So that's where our portals go to. And everyone has a different color, different uh, characters that they can choose from. So we'll each have seven guys here. I have all the dragon guys, so they're all different dragon themes. And they have different abilities, different health values. So they have health, um, and they have defense, and then they have attack and movement. So those are the different um, icons there. In addition, if they have a little fist next to their ability, that means that it re will require an action point on your turn to use that ability. And you'll only have three each turn to split amongst your characters. And that will be for their abilities, or some of the items have that, or attacking and stealing also costs an action point. Okay, so just go ahead. Yeah, usually just... There might be one that is, oh, these guys are really, uh, really dangerous. <laughs> I think I'm going to get rid of this fat guy because he dies. <laughs> I think I'm going to get rid of one that has a active ability because I feel like those hmm. might not be as useful. Ooh, okay. 
So we'll put the extra character aside as well as find a little token and put them aside. You won't need the character or that or that little token. Okay, then place your characters. We each have a little mat here which has our icons for help. So place your characters underneath those and above those so you can still see all of their abilities and stats and track their health right underneath here. Okay, and then I think I gave almost everyone little eight markers so you'll track their um, You'll place the little red markers on whatever number their health is at. I like my monster's abilities. They're yeah. pretty extra. <laughs> nice. So, pretty much all of mine start with six health. I think that might be pretty basic, yeah. Okay. So go ahead and place the red markers. We're placing it all on six? Uh, whatever the health of your character is. So, I think they all just start at six, though. So. And we can move this if there's not enough room. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> All right. All right. So the first round, we're not going to have any items in play. But after the first round, when you, um, you're always going to be rolling the die getting a random item, and you'll notice the board has numbers, that's where you'll place the item based on your roll. And then, um, so the first turn we'll skip that, but after that we'll do that. Then we are going to just be able to move our characters. So you can move them according to their movement, and you can use your action abilities, and you can use those in any combination. So um, you can move and or uh, use action abilities, but you only have three amongst your whole uh, character set. And the active actions include attacking, stealing items from rivals, activating an obelisk, which um, the obelisks are in the corners here, and or um, activating the immortality key at the exit, Forming a character ability if it has the little action symbol on it and using active items if they have the active symbol on it Okay, so what are Okay, to pick up an item. So if there's an item here You just have to walk over it with your character and then use an action to pick it up basically say I'm picking it up and Then once it's there, it'll travel with you. So just right underneath you. It'll travel around with you and you can, if you want to, drop an item. Um, so you'll get the card when you pick up the item. You'll drop it when you, um, you'll put the card back when you drop an item. You can also trade the item. Um, and items can be passive or active. So they could have a passive ability that just gives all of your guys plus one or that specific character plus one attack. Um, and you can carry each, a uh, character can carry up to two items. So items are going to be really important. Um, in addition, you'll notice in our home base areas, so when you portal back to home base, there's a little spot where you can actually put certain items. So certain items will have this icon on that, and that means they are active when you place them in this spot. However, other characters, other players, can go, can use any portal. So Someone could come over here, go to my area, and then steal my item if they don't like the ability <laughs> that it's giving me. And portals work count as one movement to get onto, but no movement to go to the other side. It's kind of like, or here, this one's yours. It's kind of like you're in both spots at once, and you're actually blocking then the portal from anyone else going through there. So if you're on a spot, no one else can go on that spot. There's no sharing spot. Uh, 
attacking. So a character can attack um, if you are directly adjacent. So my character's here and Philip's here. Uh, one of us could attack the other for an action point. And then um, there are things though to allow you to increase range. So if I had both one, two, three range, then I could attack Philip. And then the other interesting thing is these uh, towers here. There's four defense towers here. Um, and if I'm in the tower, now my range is five. One, two, three, four, five. So if Philip's here, I can actually attack all the way over there. There's also items that might increase attack. So when you're att attempting to attack, you'll roll the die and then um, you add any modifiers you may have to your attack and then look at the player's defense plus any of their modifiers and then whoever has a higher uh, number will win. So that's for attacking or for stealing. So stealing though you have to be next to each other but you're still going to roll the die. Uh, then you're gonna, they're going to lose HP equal to the attacker's attack power plus any modifiers. So if my attack power is 2, maybe add a plus 1, that would be 3 damage. And then uh, if it was a steal instead, oh, and the defender then can flee. So then Philip could go, bye, I'm going to go over here <laughs> and move 3 that way. Kind of get, you get some free movement for being attacked. You can attack or steal through portals. So even if Philip is here, if I'm here, I can still attack him. Or if he's there, but he's physically here, that's still a range of one. Uh, if a character dies, you get to flip their character card over. You don't get to use them. Um, if they die in combat and they have items, those items are gained by the attacking character, but they can only hold two items. So they may have to uh, drop additional items. Okay, links. If you have, let's say we're, we're in battle again, but I have a character linked to me. That means that we're adjacent to each other. Now I have plus one to um, attack, steal, and if you had one over here, that would then be plus one for your defense too. So, and that can be any number of characters and they don't have to be in a line. They could just, they could be um, just connected like that. So this would give me plus three to attack or steal or defend. So grouping your characters can be beneficial for those. Okay, and then the obelisk. So the obelisk, if you get to an obelisk, and you use an action power to activate it, you'll gain one of your um, color obelisk icons and place it here. And now it is active. And um, that's going to give you plus one to movement, defense, and attack power for each character in the civilization. So all of red is gonna get plus one. Movement, defense, Movement, defense, and attack power. So, but someone else could come along. Philip's coming along here. He's like, no, I'm going to go on here and spend an action point to realign it and make it the, the green one. And now it's going to be green. So if I abandon it and went over here or something, right? Uh, and that's how the obelisk works. Okay, and then attack towers I already talked about. And that's the basics of the game. So remember, you want to get the, oh, the two specific items you need for the immortality key will go here. And those are the, the philosopher's stone. yeah, philosopher's stone and the um, antimatter. You need both of those items. You put one here. So you have to get, you have to be holding the item, get to the spot, uh, activate the item by placing it in the crafting table here. And then someone else or, or another character or the same character has to have the other item. 
place it here, antimatter and philosopher's stone, activate it, and then you can um, craft. Oh, it does not cost an activation point to place an item on the crafting table. Uh, once you place it, then you're immediately given the immortality key, which is this one. That's what we're after in order to escape here. The battle then begins for a character to activate the key at the exit point. Now remember, this is an item, so it can be stolen, and um, so on and so forth. Whichever civilization successfully activates the key at the exit point wins the game. Since characters are not allowed to step on or over other characters, positioning is a pivotal strategy that can be used to block a civilization from reaching the exit point. Ooh, okay. And that, that's it. Uh, you have all six. Okay. And I do here. All right. So we'll go ahead and get started. And I'll just, I'll go first, um, show how it goes. And you can, you can actually move quite a bit. I have like, yeah, everyone has a lot of movement points. You can use these number trackers as well. If you pause in your movement, let's say this guy paused at six to have someone else move or a different action take place. You could use these to sort of remember how many movement points you have left. Okay, let's see. Draconian, you're gonna go off, you're gonna move. What? And it doesn't, I don't think it costs an action point to activate a portal. No. Okay, it's just act, actions are attacking, stealing, activating obelisk, activating the immortality key, forming character abilities, or using active items. Okay. So he can go one, and he's out here. Then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Quite far. All right. Now I could even do them in order if you want to. Let's see this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why did you only move them six? Oh, oh nine. nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I want them to be around here. So you don't have to use your full movement. Oh. One. Maybe I want to go. Two, three, four, five, six. And then. One. And keep some out here. Two and one. All right. Keep them right there. All right. Okay, go ahead, Alicia. That's pretty much what I was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This one. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> so you can move it up to nine times? Yes. Yeah. Nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, each of us start with the same stats, but items could mitigate that and our abilities could mitigate that or increase that. Our basic question: What? Yeah. What are we trying to achieve in the objective? Are we trying to eliminate? So or? you you can. There's two different strategies. You can try to eliminate everyone else, or you can craft the immortality key and or, or steal it, mm -hmm. and activate it at the exit gate here. And you win. Yep. Okay. And that's how you <laughs> win. <laughs> and is there a recipe for the immortality key? Then? Yes, the philosopher's stone and the antimatter. So after the first round, items will start coming out mm -hmm. onto the field, onto these numbered spaces. Okay. And you'll be able Two, to try to pick them up and steal them 
and all that fun stuff. Okay. I'm kind of glad Alicia's away at the other side of the board. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Nothing. <Yeah>. Good. <laughs> what? No, you good. Keep going. <laughs> two. And two. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you have any abilities that you would want to use? Or no. I don't. A lot of them will only affect, like, combat and things like that. Go ahead, Caleb. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, which one am I at? Is it this one or that one? This one. Okay. Because um, it's filled. So yeah. one, two. So it doesn't matter, like, if we, or do we have to, like, move down straight in a row? Nope. You can move to any adjacent spot. Okay. So just nine times. Yeah. Okay. Up to nine times. Yeah. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. Going after nine. the obelisk. Good. <laughs> 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 Looks like a lot of the abilities are the same. Two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eight, nine. Did we are all discard the same character too? We didn't want the <laughs> the one who kamikaze. <laughs> the, one who, the, the suicide one. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, I saved him. <laughs> no. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I figured it'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't either. Let's and Lisa see. didn't either. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's because Philip likes the chaos. Yeah. <laughs> I, do. I like disruption, so. so one, two, three, four. He's one, like, two, I'll kill other three, people at my four, own expense. It's fine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Rolling in game. And then. <laughs> Remember, the attack towers are pretty awesome, too, because they'll give you range. Plus, they'll give you five two, range, the towers. One. That's why I have my guy here, so I have oh, control I of the tower. One, two, <laughs> control of yeah. the tower? Yeah. But does it matter which character you put in there, or no? Um, or so whatever character put? is there has the range. And characters that are adjacent to them as well. So that are linked. So these three all have the rank. Let's see. Okay, just one, two. <laughs> Go for the tower. <laughs> <laughs> Is it my turn? Yes. And then okay. you said you want to put obelisk so you can the obelisk thing too, right? Yeah, obelisk will give you all of your characters. Plus one defense, attack, and movement. So this is a tower? Yes. yes. And that's a tower? Yes. And that one is tower, a... tower just gives you more range for attacking. Kind of defend defend the whole little corner. And you actually start here. Sorry. <laughs> so it's not even farther. <laughs> but huh? we're, yeah, we're closer together. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and move my same guy. One mm -hmm. round where uh, I will incapacitate the rival. My guy, the alien. They're all aliens. <laughs> yeah, at the top is there. So there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, yeah, there you go. Mm hmm. And then I think all my following guys will be pretty much following suit. Yep, so except, civilization, except and then they have a name, too, in the middle. Yeah. Hi, Ambassador Ustal. <laughs> I think I will try to put him in, in and try to, one, two, three, four, 
are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'll just bring them all. I wonder. them kind of in a row there all right now my next turn so now starting at the beginning of your turn you'll roll the die seven i'm gonna get and oh i like that i like seven <laughs> <It's right by laughs> my. so we have this little character icon item here that's going on the base mark seven mm -hmm. and then i'll find the item here it is a ufo it'll give you plus four speed so that item is now on the field and available to try to pick up. And items are going to spawn every turn now. Yes, now they're going to spawn at the beginning of everyone's turn. So mm -hmm. long as, as long as they can. And what do I want to do? Oh, I want to move this guy first, one, and activate this obelisk. That's going to give all of my dragons um, plus one movement, attack, and defense. So I think that's good. And he can keep moving now. So I only moved, used one movement. Got eight. I guess he's good. Two, three. Oh, wait. No, once you use an action, then you can't move anymore but um with that character but up to that point you can and then let's i get i think i gotta get, send another guy over here one two three so picking up an item does not cost anything and transferring items between two adjacent characters doesn't cost anything so he's good he's gonna pick this up so I'll get the plus four speed can you still see it okay and it's a passive item awesome it can move a lot uh, I'm gonna go probably five or sorry one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve Let's go over here. <laughs> no worries, no worries. That's me. All right. Four movement. These guys are going to chill there, I think. Should I send one with them? Yeah, I'll send one guy. One, two, three. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Okay, so yeah. I roll the dice? Yes, you roll the dice first. <laughs> <It's dangerous. laughs> okay. Twelve. Twelve. I randomly get an item. Banana. Okay, place it on the twelve. Is this Mario Kart? <laughs> <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Let's see Don't you with the right <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's a golden banana plus six health. Doesn't affect dead characters. Remove this item from, from the game. So it throws you at the back of the race. So. Oh, it's an active item. So that means you'll have to actively use it when it, for the plus six health. So it's a one time plus six health. Oh, okay. You'd like to heal. Okay, so. Can activate your obelisk. Find your character. You're activating? Yeah. For an ability action point? Okay, so that's one action point. Um, and he can't move anymore. 
can start moving toward where there might be an item spawning. You could go put yourself in a position to attack someone next turn. Okay. Do you have to go pick up a banana in order to get it or can you, is it hers? Anyone can pick it up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The beginning of your turn, it's just spawning that item. Hmm. <laughs> It's a little far for you, though. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Caleb might get to it before. (laughs) 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 Go ahead. Oh, you're going to block your portal. Wait, wait. Another item spawns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Man, why send another dude with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it, I guess. Okay. Okay. Ten. Okay. So <laughs> I just pick one randomly. Yep. Um. The red. Is it this? Yes. The philosopher's stone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that's one of the two items we need in order to craft. Um, the immortality and you're key. way too close to it. <laughs> to, um, oh, I'm going to be a target now. <laughs> um, <laughs> Go for the see. banana. Go uh, for I'm the gonna... banana. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, you can get it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, and this is great. <laughs> <laughs> one. Wait. Yeah. Does this count as one or this? When so I move. So when you move, it's one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. Then you are you you picking it up? Picking it up. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So now it'll move with you. Okay. But you're out of <coughs> movement. Okay. You should send these guys over there too. To yeah. Am I am I attacking next? <laughs> 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 Or you could have preemptively attacked me, but I've I've got my ob an obelisk active, and three guys linked. But see, my guy, if I if I was to roll greater than a four, could, so do you roll again, or whatever you land on is what you you stay on. Um. Because it says when you when you roll, that's using your active ability is when you roll. Okay, so it says if the roll is greater than mm-hmm. 14, you can control an adjacent rival, but I can't do that then at this time. Because you had to roll a 14. Right. No, no. Oh, it's a separate roll. You, it's a separate roll. Okay. So you would move next to whoever you wanted to target. Then you would do your active ability, and you would roll, and then you could try, then you could like move a character away, right? So I can't attack basically use my character and move them wherever okay so so 
So one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, Wait. eight, it... nine. Oops, sorry. Okay. Um, I'm probably move that guy over here. That'd be evenly matched then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> number. I can move this over here, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can move one of those there and then activate the obelisk. Okay. Are you using an, an action point to activate the obelisk? Yes. Okay. You still have two other action points. You can get the banana. <laughs> or I can move this over here, right? One, so two, one, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, 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 nine. No, I won't make it. Dun, dun, dun. Cause mine could remain linked. I mean, I think you should move the two guys to the banana. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. See what happens. <laughs> okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> it's only good for one use. <laughs> Um, well, at least you have an item. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wait, did you even roll for an item? Yeah, I did. The Philosopher's Stone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Already got it. Oh, you get the... Yeah, so you have... Banana these two are in your possession. <laughs> um, let's see. And then put the Philosopher's Stone underneath, under the banana, so everyone oh, can see it. Like... Oh, or, like, yeah, like that. There we go. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. All Looks right. good to me. <laughs> I think you're, you're done, right? You're not using your abilities. Great. Now I'm going to be come after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just had to have that lucky pick from the back. Or I'm going to roll for an item. Mm hmm. 14. Oh. We'll still need the other item, which it's is next antimatter. Again, Caleb. <laughs> Unfortunate. Wow. And it's only the person who puts in the second item here that gets the key. It's a little cat one. So, little cat? Okay. What? Wait, what's <gasps> the, the second item? The antimatter. Mm hmm. Okay. So I've got to quickly get out of that area before it I get attacked. A black cat, which will do minus one damage from rival attacks. So when someone attacks you, they'll do one less damage. Yeah. When you have this passive item in your inventory. Yeah, That's on okay. your character. <clears throat> okay, so it's I'm gonna very go ahead far from and me. activate okay. the obelisk. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I may, I have it right here. Okay, yeah. And that's one action point. Yep. And I think that's all I can do except kind of just spread out the guys for now. Right, right. you yeah. just you oh. want to protect the exit point. <laughs> do I? This one? Well, so this is the exit, the exit point, oh, that exit but point. we don't have the item yeah. for the yeah. key yet. So. Yet. <laughs> so I think that's all I'll do. Oh, I'm not going out the, the invaders. <laughs> I'm not invading him. I was trying to get next to the item spaces. Uh -huh. right. <laughs> right. I'm just kidding. All right, y'all then? Yeah. Okay, another roll. Oh. Four. What do we See? got? See? It's over here. Yeah. <laughs> 
it is a scroll. Let's see what this this is an active item, so you'll have to use an action point to use it. Heal a dead character to 6 HP and place them on any unoccupied tile in your base. Sounds Remove like this item from the game. The revive, yeah. Is it one time use only? Yeah, then it's removed from the game. Philip, you're in the way. It's my turn. I know, I'm just. Oh! Jeez. Okay. Can't I plan ahead? Yes, you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can make it. I That's feel like. I, hmm. I wonder if I had just stood in there, if I would have just automatically gotten it. <laughs> would I have? Uh, would you stand in the item chase when you get it? No, you still have to pick it up. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Uh oh. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's... Oh. Okay. He can control adjacent. What can he do? Gain health. Uh, oh, this one's the one I want. Plus one attack power. Yeah, one, two, three. Oh, not here. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, okay. He gets one plus one attack power for all draconians within a three tile radius from this character. So, this guy is gonna attack. <laughs> uh, he's this guy. Okay, he has no, two, right? two plus one from three. the obelisk plus one from this guy. Four. Four. Ooh, 17. So, t 21. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now you're going to look at your defense. Okay. Ten. Plus <laughs> your guys here. Oh, yeah, plus my. No, that's. Yeah, for my roll, it's plus these guys. One, two, three, four. So okay, it's actually so 25. What am I looking at? Your defense is 10, right? Look mm -hmm. at your character. Does he have a, any kind of passive ability? Immediately control an adjacent rival. Okay, he can't do that right now. No? Yeah. No. Only on his turn, right? Yeah, that's an cost an action point. I think most of them but, are roll a die. Yeah, your 10 defense, let's see. If you get, I don't think you get to roll a die. Do you have the guy that rolls a die to block the defense damage? Defense plus any block modifiers. Oh no. So he has 10 plus 1, 2, 12 plus the obelisk, 13. So it's not oh, enough. Did die? I'm going, no, I'm attack. I'm st sorry, I'm stealing. No, I, I said attack, huh? <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm attacking him, which means he's getting, um, going to take damage, which is my attack, which is 2. This, this guy, right? Yeah. And plus any modifier i have one here and one one attack power here so four damage to this guy so you move your right up marker down four his hp goes yeah. to this one uh-huh it goes down two. to two. Oh, this because yep four. yeah i could have stolen so this guy can't do anything anymore i used one action point I have two more. And this guy can move one, two, three, four, five. This guy can move. Or this guy can. Uh, yeah, I guess he can move two more. And he's going to try to actually just. Attack him and finish him off. Attack, yeah, I think attack oh. again because. <laughs> I have to try. <laughs> oh, you I got the stone. That is so extra. <laughs> yeah, the stone. I need it. Go, go. Okay. Go. Oh, oh my. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I guess that's what they okay. mean. May the odds ever be in your favor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Dave. Okay, he only he does. <laughs> yeah. The Can four damage as well. <laughs> is it active or passive? Active. Active. Okay, no. You might want the scroll. <laughs> so he's gonna Too flip far. over. The dead guy's gonna flip over. And he, There's, and then he's gonna go off the grid. I get the item gained by this guy. <laughs> so, but he might oh. be able to steal it back. He can't move anymore now because he's attacked. Put your character over. Flip it over the stack. Flip, flip over the character who's. Okay. Who died? No, the card. Died, right? Oh, and yeah. Flip them. There you go. His red health off the grid. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oof. That's okay. brutal. Is there anything else I can do? Oh, I need to defend this stone now. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, oh. six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine. I'm gonna go and block that there, in case you try to steal it back. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's my turn. Go ahead, Alicia. Where is that? Thirteen. It might Here. be covered by an item already. What does it do? So do we get there. No? Um, it's gonna go clockwise to the next space. That's oh, the, yeah. the four damage from rival attacks. Sorry? Is that what that is? The four damage. Yeah. Minus um, one. Oh, minus, minus one. one damage. So instead of four, four it would have been three. <laughs> yeah. I just need to move my characters over here so that no one can get in. <laughs> uh, I can one, block it off. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to get away from your characters. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that's all I want to do. <laughs> oh, I you can I move can that move guy off. Guy. Yeah. Um, Unless you think someone might control it. Hey Matt, glad to hear. Good to see ya. <laughs> Join in when you can. Okay. That. Okay, Caleb, roll the die. Let's go. Six. Oh wait, I get those cards. What did you pick up? The scroll. The scroll and the hat. Oh. <laughs> okay, what am I going to get this time? The antimatter. <laughs> what is this? That is... A battery. <laughs> Knockout gas. Every rival in a three-tile radius is incapacitated for one round. Remove this item from the game. It's Where activated. was this before? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, well, that's a dangerous one. <laughs> Okay, I am going to move away from your characters. Oh, One, yeah, where's the two, stone? Can three, you hand me the stone card? Thank you. Three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight. He's running. I'm going to block you guys. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven, eight, nine. So when you were attacked the first time, you could have run away three spaces, <clears> but... <throat> You were blocked, so <laughs> it didn't really help you. Um, one, two, wait, because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. We can <laughs> really move quite a distance and get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh. And you take your banana with you. Um, banana phone. <laughs> <laughs> and you can always Plus yeah, six, like, right? trade your banana if you need it to. Let's see. You can reallocate it to some other character. Or no. How does, hmm? trade, how does the trade work? Uh, you can trade between characters that are adjacent to each uh, other. 
shift it to another. Let's yeah. see. Um, and it doesn't cost an action point. Let's see. So one, two, three, <laughs> four. You're gonna get the black cat. The black cat. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's it for me. Thank you. You can keep moving with that one if you wanted to. Fifteen. Oh. That so. didn't cost an action point. <laughs> I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here then. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. So is this it? Is what you need? A hook? Yes. Yes. Oh, it's a second one. Dark magnet. Choose an active item. Choose any two items currently in play. Those items are transferred to you. Ooh, Remove this item from stealer. the game. It's like boo. <laughs> so he oh, could no. take the stone. The stone. <laughs> I think Alicia's the closest. But you still it. need oh. the <laughs> still need the antimatter as well. So you can use the steel bullet. <laughs> okay. I wonder if I should be. What is the benefit of staying on the tower, by the way? Uh, you can do a range attack. For the, your range is five. So one, two, three, four. Oh, you can hit Alicia perfect. From there. <laughs> perfect. You're gonna hit me. Not yet. You so. have to do it enthusiastically, like Alicia. It's perfect. Yes. <laughs> so there's this guy. There's this. Do you have damage? Oh, that's a blocking. Okay, so I'm going to. All linked aliens gain plus four health. So I kind of want to run towards the item, get the knockout gas to get through. <laughs> you can do multiple things. Yeah. Yeah. Multiple characters. Same words, but I can't hear you. You can't hear me. <laughs> yeah, this is the mic, great. Right? Oh. Your, your outdoor voice. Excuse me. There you go. <laughs> All right. He is this guy. One, two, three, four, five, seven. six, seven. And who exactly okay, do you, you plan got the on knock using that on? <laughs> this is an act, is this an active one? Or? So it's active, so you'll have to use an action point in order to utilize it. And did, I, did I use an action point when I obtained the item? No. I did not. Okay. So... Three. So all you guys link to the attack tower yeah. have the range. Plus okay. five. Sorry, plus four, so it's five range. Mm -hmm. And plus one to your attack. Yes. Okay. Okay, can I like to attack? Yeah, so you gotta Using choose range. which character is attacking though. I will attack the item <clears throat> human. So which one of your characters is the one attacking? I thought you said that uh, you have to be adjacent though, but not the um, the towered one, right? A any one of these can attack with a range of five. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. But some of the abilities only affect if they're adjacent, uh, doing adjacent attack. Okay. And then is this able to move also? Yep. And bring him back to here? Yep. Oh. Your scouting party, Alicia. So <laughs> <laughs> and then can I use his ability to try to control an adjacent rival? Or uh, you're not adjacent, adjacent, right? adjacent right? So it would be right here then. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, so. Oh no. Okay. Oh, for the range, they have to be directly adjacent to this one. Sorry. What do you mean? So this is the only one with the range attack. So these two. Because they, this one's here, and this one's adjacent to it. Right. But since I'm adjacent, can I use his ability? Yeah. Or now it will die. Yeah. So that will cost an action. Control, or is that only for the turn? For the turn. 
Okay. And we control. And what is the benefit of the control movement? Uh, well, they're able to, the item, right? they are able to <laughs> immediately move that character and perform actions using that character. The control character is allowed one free activation point that does not take away from the uh, player. Only the controlled character is allowed to use the free action point. And are they allowed to swap the items also? Uh, it just says move and perform actions. So it would be so, like my character then. <laughs> yeah, they're actions, so... Action, passive actions are picking up, placing, or dropping items, or transferring items between two adjacent characters. Perfect. <laughs> so right, you gotta roll to the dice. Position, you need I a, have a thirty percent chance of getting yeah. it. Yeah. I'm gonna try. <laughs> you need a very high. I need roll. a fourteen rate uh -huh. or higher. Uh -huh. There you go. <gasps> oh. <laughs> so now you have. You're controlling this character. Mm-hmm. So, so can, can I go ahead and swap the item then? Yeah, you can trade. Trade the item. Okay. So I will go ahead and trade the item. You can only trade it adjacent. Yep. And you could even have the character now run away up to <laughs> nine spaces. Yes. <laughs> Wait, good. what does the scroll do again exactly? Heal a dead character. To to revive. That's to the revive, one you want. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So then I need to steal that from him somehow, mm -hmm. eventually. <laughs> Maybe with the, you lost your dark, person. <laughs> with the dark magnet. <laughs> and then I guess I could try to move her in the middle, right? You, you could. Yeah. I thought the dark magnet could take anything, so I could take back what you took One, from two, me. One, two, three. You could. Four right there. Oh, and brutal. That's and that's all I can do. Uh, with so that character. Now, basically, my mine is his. No, it's only for that one turn. Yeah, that's it. Now, yeah. he said he's done controlling a character. Because so I can't do anything it. else, right? Can I? I can't uh, attack. Uh. Or anything else. Yeah, you have one action point, so you could do something that it costs an action point, like attacking or stealing. Can I attack? <laughs> but I can't because it's under my control. Right? Yeah. So. Yeah. You don't want to do I'm that. Done. Okay. You're done. You're done with this one. What? You're done with this character. Oh, uh, okay. That was one action point. You should okay. have two others, right? You didn't do anything else. Yes. Yeah. So I could still. Well, the thing is, it's still under my control for the turn, so I can't attack Alicia's character um, because it's my character. I don't know. Okay. Um. No worries. So you, you could attack this one, though, with yeah. here. One, two, three, four. Okay. With which character? Any of these? So this these two are the ones with the plus range. Okay. So you have to choose one of those. And, okay, so I'll use the Kwajuk Blazoik. And I can roll a die. If the roll is over 14, I can incapacitate. Mm -hmm. and it, Oh, it's only for adjacent rival. No, no. Can I... I think you just you just say I'm attacking, attacking. Okay. then you roll and you add up your Okay. At least you have attacking attack point. your person next to the three four. Okay. Three. Okay, so you, which one are you attacking with? This one? Uh probably right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he has plus plus one attack power for all aliens within a three tile radius from this character, right? Yeah. That's an attack. Power right now, yeah. Plus one attack power for all uh -huh. aliens within. So he's at what two? His attack power. Yeah. So he gets plus one, two, three, four. So he gets plus four to two. So he's at six. Plus one for the obelisk. So he's at seven. Uh. Oh. Okay. Yes. Seven. And then does he have any other bonuses, or is that it? Plus one from the. Um, Attack power, power. yeah. So it's eight. Eight. But she has ten, right? And does this count minus one damage from rival attacks for all humans within three tile radius from this character? One, two, three. You don't have any other? Oh, she's too far, I think. Yeah. Um, one tile too far. Okay. So what's, so mine's eight. So what's the calculation? Ten. Her defense is ten, so your attack is unsuccessful. Unsuccessful? Yep. <laughs> Nothing happens. Okay. That's it. 
All right. <laughs> wah, wah. Are you are you all done? Yes. Okay. Three. You got another item coming out right there. <laughs> okay, and this is. Oh, it looks like this is the bow. The. Uh, enchanted bow, passive, increased max attack range by four tiles. So it's just like you're at a tower, but. It's wherever you go with it. Okay, my character. Okay, I got the stone. Oh, Caleb is blocking this now. <laughs> <laughs> and I still need the other item in order to, to make it worth it. All right, you've got. I'm going to trade the stone to my guy who has the speed boost. Yeah, let's trade. Uh, let's trade the speed boost over to this guy. Okay, and that doesn't cost anything, but he will go... Let's go... We'll start moving our way that way. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Six. Seven. I guess we'll go this way. Two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I think they'll be okay there. And do I want to send these guys off? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Somewhere else. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, which space are you on? Fill it for the item? Yeah. It's on here, huh? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Which characters are those? This guy. Oh, I'm going to incapacitate you. Okay, he's going to use his ability to try to incapacitate you for a round. Nope, didn't do it. Okay. Where's this guy? <laughs> oh, he's defensive. <laughs> he, I think he can move one more. Yeah. And he's going to attack this guy. Yeah. And he has plus one for that guy, and that's it though. Two. He's a defensive 10, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, I rolled a one. <laughs> Nothing happened. Can I use his ability? What if is he's it? adjacently attacked, roll a d20. If the roll is greater than 14, block the damage and deal damage equal to this character's attack yep. power. So Good. I can damage you. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Going. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay. I tried. And I'm done with my turn. Go ahead, Alicia. Um, you gonna okay. pick up that bow? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then... there you go. Oh wait, I didn't roll for an item. Oh, good. Yeah, roll for an item first. Twenty. <gasps> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have the dark what magnet that? over there too. Yeah. Magnetic. So. Magnetic. What is that? Tron two point uh, <laughs> Internet server. <laughs> Passive plus three defense mm. for that character. That one's good. Yeah, especially. Looks like a land modem. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that one's there. So we're gonna go here and here. Oh. And here. Oh, <laughs> magnet. Uh, I don't know. You're picking up everything. There, I guess. One, yeah. two, three, four, five. One. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Okay, we're 
over there. Picking up all the items. And I end my turn. Seven. Nice. What is it? It's gold? Gold. Okay, money. Plus <laughs> three to your d20 for attack and steal rolls. Hmm. Okay, so if I, so what would be considered adjacent if I moved right here? Yep, okay. any of the, see how there's the lines here? Yeah. So anything connecting is adjacent. And then when I, if I move all my characters up, then I would roll. And if I get above a 14, that's when I can activate the power. Mm-hmm. You probably want to yeah. go here yeah. then. You want to move your <laughs> yeah. goblin. There. Yeah, I get two of my guys. <laughs> and you get your item too if you successfully you saved roll. your suicide guy. Oh. <laughs> you got a 30% chance. And you got oh. it. it 90? No! <laughs> so all three of these guys are going down. So normally you would steal the item for killing him, but because we're all dead, Does he get the it just gets too? dropped. Really? Oh no, yeah. so I have to pick it you up. You have to go pick it up. But you have other characters well, you there. You have that other only... guys that haven't moved yet, right? Oh, and here no. you go. Okay, this guy's dead. <laughs> yeah, so that this guy can just pick it up. Oh, my oh, powerful guy. So this guy can pick it up then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he only moved like one or okay, two, right? Okay, so one, two, wait. So move one, so that would be two, three. Oop. Yeah, you get the and then I can move him away from point. there. You can move him back here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so... Uh, the thing. Or Four, you can insert it five. into the stone. Oh, you can insert the, right, where the stone, stone goes. In there. Yeah. yeah. And then two, three, four, and then two, three, four. So you're dropping the stone? Yes. Okay. So I guess Congratulations. we say, hey, <laughs> the stone is there. <laughs> Um, cool. And then if I wanted to move, does this one stay here or can I move this closer? You can, to you can move, yeah, to have more length and more defense. Six, seven, eight, nine. Next so, time. So it's not that. close enough. Or you can block your portal or. <clears throat> Or you can just end. Or you can get you can just get him closer to the action if you wanted. One, two, don't forget your cat. Four, five, <laughs> or or maybe you're leaving him to Yeah, don't forget your cat. Or maybe you're leaving him to pick up another <laughs> item. One, two, three, four, six, you wanna keep seven, him in the middle somewhere. Okay. okay. <laughs> Are you all good? I'm good. good. Okay. Fill up. Oh man, yep. <laughs> now everybody's gonna come after me. <laughs> Is that six or nine? Six. Six, Is right. The item. Come on. Antimatter. Yeah, we need antimatter. It's a cuff. And it would go cuff. here. Okay, and cuff. Oh, that works since this is already has an item. Where is that other item? Uh, go uh, clockwise, yeah. So choose a civilization. That civilization and its characters are immobilized for one round. Remove this item from the game. Oh, the disruptor. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> I have no items now. Okay. So I will try to... Two... Sorry. Three, four, five, six, seven... Move here again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you have against Alicia's <laughs> character? I want the either. Alicia's <laughs> character isn't even doing anything <laughs> wrong. Okay. This is here. The other way to win is to kill everyone else. So and we're already down a couple characters. I know. That's what true. character dies from attacking two people? <laughs> Uh, 
did he just get like blasted back from the ray and kill himself? Yep, something like that. <laughs> it's so powerful an attack. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> At least stay near the items. He's my go getter, right? <laughs> and I'm going yeah. to try attempt to take control of your character, Alicia. So I can steal your item again. <laughs> so okay. if I roll a fourteen or higher, then I will do that and mm -hmm. leave you alone. <laughs> and I got a one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Whiff. <laughs> so I will end there. <laughs> You could still attack with your ranged guy. I could still attack with my ranged guy. Mm -hmm. He is this guy. But he's only, what? Two? And oh, you have both of these guys. Right? Both of these guys. Yeah. yeah, and they're linked for the roll. Add yeah. to the roll. Mm -hmm. And then both of these have the range. Can I move in one more? And I'll be within three. Does it have enough more attack power more than 10? You have to match 10 or or higher in order yeah, to eliminate? Higher. Yeah. Okay, so if he has 1, 2, and he has everybody in range. Oh, no, and you'll roll. What? And you roll. How do I roll? When you attack. Oh, and what does the roll do? It just, add, it just adds to if you can defeat the 10 or not. Oh, okay. So I know so he's at one. You two, roll to see if you're gonna able to three, attack and four, five, get six, over their defense. Seven, eight. So I just need to roll a two or higher. So this one's not linked. He's not linked. No. The oh, tile you're radius plus from plus. this character. So I just have to roll a two or higher to eliminate. Okay. Right. Yeah. Go for it. All right. I'll see if I can eliminate. You're doing it, so it's this guy? Yeah. It's this oh, guy, right? This guy. Because this it's guy. plus one attack power. Yeah, all yeah, he's, the he's adjacent, <laughs> so he can attack with the range. Okay. Good. All right, I got eight. Okay, so what is his attack power? Eight plus No, eight. so that's, that's you successfully defeated her 10 defense with your roll plus your... Everything added. Yeah. Eight. Now we're going to look... Okay, he has two. Yep. And what... He has a plus one for being in next to the um, attack here and plus one from here. Mm -hmm. so, Doesn't he get plus one attack power for all cool. aliens within a three tile radius from this character? E, that's a passive uh, ability, right? Yeah, that's a modifier. Yeah. So didn't he already have eight with his green included? Okay, so... Yeah, so he does enough damage to kill okay. kill you, basically. Okay. And he gets to steal the item. Thank you. You're welcome. What does that item do again? It gives you range for attack. Yay. Okay, oh, here it goes. Ooh. I think that's it. Okay. Uh, my turn. I'll roll for an item. And let's see what comes out. It's the antimatter. <laughs> the antimatter. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Um, it looks like my spider is really close to that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you just <laughs> ran Alicia's away from next, there. So you can but Alicia's up. close to it as well. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, I'm so far now. Okay. I need that defense, so okay. Hmm. You know, and we're we're gonna we're gonna go. See, this could just be really easy for me. I could snatch it, take it back. Yeah, but then <laughs> you're gonna have to deal with I'll have other to deal people. With those two. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright. Okay. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm going to do. Alicia, you're up. 
<laughs> okay, so if I put... If I put all of my people in a line here, I can move all my items in here. Um, wh why would you want your items in there? So that people can't steal it. <laughs> so <laughs> if you drop your items, though, you won't be able to use them. Oh, I can only use it when I'm carrying it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. But then at least nobody else would be able to use it yeah. against you. So, so you have some power whatever. defeating people nah. from using it. You got nine oh. exactly. Picked it up. Alright. Did you roll for an item? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got you though. <clears throat> What is that? A three? Yes. Perfect. <laughs> okay, the Tesseract. The teleport tesseract. Teleport up to three characters from your civilization <laughs> directly to you. Characters must be placed in spots that link them together. You can teleport your friendly friendly characters to you. Are both items out? Yes. Yes, there you go. Okay. Um. Does anybody have items? So the Philosopher's Stone is currently in the crafting table, and Alicia has just picked up the antimatter, which is the second item need did to craft the immortal key. And then once I bring it here, it will... Then you'll get the key. Okay. Alicia gets the key. She'll get it, but it's an item. Um, so it can be controlled, stolen, and stolen or pulled. And eliminated. <laughs> she has a magnet too, though. So oh, <laughs> that might be an item of interest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Try to get some defense. And you have to get the key oh. here to the exit, too. So that's what my characters are kind of... So you have to get the, this key to yep. the exit? Mm -hmm. Just one to character win. in there to win? Yep. Interesting game. Okay. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> All done. All right. Caleb, go ahead and roll. So if I move my characters away from there, then you can attack my character that has the Tesseract in No, it? the stone is already stone. done. You okay. already placed it in there. Okay, so... You can my, move away from there if you I want. I can move away from there then. Yeah. Okay. Now it's the antimatter that matters. 17. And pick an item. Um, <laughs> a jellyfish, or what is this? An orb? I yeah, magic orb. Okay. Plus one attack damage to whoever is holding okay. it. Okay, so. It's passive, right? Mm -hmm. so, that's a good item. For combat. Do you want to risk it? Incapacitate an adjacent rival for one round. That'll stop them from doing anything. Oh. oh. <laughs> but you won't be able to get the item. Yeah. It's gonna slow her down. Delaying the item. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or the movement of the item. Doing that. <laughs> One, two, three. Why? Seven, eight, nine. But I thought that only this character couldn't get the item. Could. Mm-hmm. Any character can get the item, right? Any item, yeah. They just have to be the one attacking and adjacent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You still get this item with oh, him. Oh, yeah. Which will let him move again? Oh, plus four, speed. four, so you could go even farther. So then that one could pick up the item if, if you attack me. That one says one attack power for all Halloween monsters within a three tile <laughs> radius. So I could swap. Wait, but what would that do for me? Uh, 
Get a whole chain. All right. <laughs> okay. So now I have to roll the dice. So your spider character is attacking yes. Alicia's character with the antimatter? Yes. The So it would attack Alicia's character by rolling. Or are you going to steal the item or attack? What is the difference between a steal and an and so a, and a attack? Attack, you'll do damage to her. Steal, you'll steal her item. But you have to roll greater than a 14 to steal it? No, you have to... It's similar to... You have to roll greater than her defense. Plus your... Um, your attack abilities. So you have plus three for the dudes there right now. And plus one from your obelisk. <laughs> plus. So if I steal it, I can't move though, right? Yeah, then you're you're stuck there. But you could trade that someone, the next character to it, could trade it. Um. Actually, could I use this mind controller um, card right now? You have to use sure. it on your turn. It costs an action point. Oh. But it Indeed. says somebody else's <laughs> turn. Choose a rival civilization when it is their turn. Control all characters, and that's yeah. You would use it, and then when it goes around to their turn. See Halloween oh. monsters. Um, I'm gonna incapa incapacitate. <laughs> I would attempt to. Attempt to. I have to get higher 14. than a fourteen. That's thirty percent chance. The 17. Never in your favor. I just got a 17. Okay. <laughs> so you incapacitated the So incapacitate carrier. an adjacent rival for mm -hmm. one round. So. You choose the antimatter holder or the. Huh? Yeah, he already did. Oh, you did? Yeah. You have to choose before you okay. roll. <laughs> <laughs> um, Are you done with that character? Any other actions you want to take? So. How do I go about getting the key at this point? So is mine dead or what? No, that was, no just, just, oh. just can't, can't do anything next do round. Anything, yeah. So you have to get the antimatter and then drop it off in here and then you get the key. Right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what, wait. I'm <laughs> so this character, now you can't steal though because you tried right. to use, you incapacitated you did your, them. So your character, this guy's done. Okay, so this is dead then. Not, right. no, no, not, just okay, not, just, you oh, can't okay. do anything just else done. with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Okay. So and you can use this one to steal it, right? But he's not next to him. But it just moves and steals it, right? If he has movement left. He does. Oh, he does. Yeah, because he has the UFO. Yeah, you could do that. Oh, UFO. Oh, four. yeah. No, but like the character itself says plus four. Yep. Whatever. Plus one attack power for all Halloween monsters within a three tile radius. That's attack. Yeah. So you can try attempt to attack the human. Or you could you could just steal if you want steal. the <laughs> antimatter. How do you steal? Again? Because they're incapacitated. It's the same as attacking. You roll. Okay. So okay. if I move this. Next to. One, two, three. Mm-hmm. And I have to roll greater than a fourteen. No, you have to roll greater than a 10, which is okay. her defense, plus, but you also, you have a plus one for your, um, obelisk. No. Okay. Uh. 
so not wah, great role. Wah, that guy's wah. done now. Okay. <laughs> I think I think that's about all you could do because yeah. you already moved you guys. Okay. My turn. Mhm. I'm gonna roll for the item. Five. So grab an item. Grab an item. It shall be this bottle of gin. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Red liquid health Red potion. Liquid. Health Restore potion. health to ten HP. To ten doesn't, HP. Yep. Wow. Doesn't affect dead characters. And it'll be removed from the game once it's used. Okay. And then I will go ahead and... I have a range of four attack for this guy. Oh, because of the item? Yep, because he has bow. the bow. Yeah. Enchanted bow. Mm -hmm. And I think this guy's within range three. So I, if I can try to at attempt to attack your uh, Nagini... In the, the, in the serpent or whatever. <laughs> this one. Yes. Okay. Go so for it. Roll. roll. And I have to get ten or higher with all his buffs too, right? Because he gets mm -hmm. plus one from every person. I think everyone's within range of three. Yeah. So here goes. The odds be ever in my favor. <laughs> Seven. Does that work? Uh, when you have to get so ten or higher, then right. You have. You're attacking is seven plus, plus one. one plus one, two, three, four, five, six, plus is two, eight. No, not plus two. This is for the roll. The roll sees okay. does the attack go through? Then okay. then you use your attack. Okay. Um. So is that higher than ten? Then? Yeah. Okay. May I eliminate? So no. Now your attack damage. Yes. You look at the two. Yes. Plus any, you get one for the obelisk. Mm -hmm. Plus any for other aliens, right? Yep. Okay. Now, yeah, it kills them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, no, then you do me. All right. All right. And then I'll go ahead and attempt to pick up the items you can only hold two items per character he has one okay yeah are you only three no mm -mm. two three four five so he has i the thought potion. you wanted this one what does this one do again uh teleport three characters from your civilization to you they all link together Yep. And then I will try to. Yeah, get that one too. I guess I could try to use him. If I may? Yep. And then. Can I get the potion? Mm hmm. And. That shall be it. Alright. A roll. 16. There's still a few items left. It's the Tesseract. Okay. It's the ring. No, the Tesseract is already out. Spirit ring. Become immune to negative item modifiers and rival abilities. Alright. There's an item there. Mm-hmm. I only have three guys left. I gotta, I gotta use them strategically, and maybe go get that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Man, I want to get a little. Away from what? Maybe. No, scary. Good <laughs> okay. Roll the antimatter and you failed. <laughs> you it. One. My item is under here. Can you help me get it? Like, oh. The board. That, yeah. yeah. Okay. The. But wait. It. ICBM. All characters in a three-tile radius lose three health. Remove this item from the game. 
It says that the rival was incapacitated for one round. Was that my round or is that Alicia's round now? It's now her oh, round, so she can't move that character, but she can do, do anything, other things. Yeah. It's just that specific I'm character. Transfer this. Yeah. To this one. And run it. Mm-hmm. There you go. <laughs> That's how you do it. Items. You'd have your other character pick that item up <laughs> first. <laughs> you can trade it to this character and then try moving it, but it's not. It's more than nine, though, right? I'm gonna need this so that I can move eleven. <laughs> okay, so you're get, you're then... using the dark magnet mm -hmm. to steal the UFO. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is gonna go away now. So you I'm can choose any two that. items, though. Yeah, Jerry but she can two. only hold oh. two, so. Bruh. This one's gone. No, but... Mm, okay, whatever. Right? You're using it. Yeah, but okay. if I'm using it, then I can then get another item, because this is only one. You still have the other antimatter there. The antimatter's on you, right? Yeah, you can only hold item. two items. There's only one item, though, because I'm using it. To get the orb, right? The UFO. Oh, okay. Where's the UFO? Yours? Yeah. One of your guys have it? You have, to, you have to grab the token, too. Is it from here? Yeah. That one? There you go. Okay. Now you can go really far. Wow, wow. <laughs> okay, we placed the mm. antimatter. So does oh, the key appear? Works. Yes. So Where she gets the key. Eleven. Is it on her character? Yes. So it'd be yours. Perfect. We combine the two items and the key <laughs> is now available. Well. What happens next? What's now next? she has to get to the exit gate. She has to run to the gate. 13, Where's that at? Right here. Now you got a big target on <laughs> your back. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't move that character, but that one you can. One, two. Your other item. <laughs> oh, no, a slippery, huh? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um. Okay. You have these two characters too. I'll use this on Philip. <laughs> what to do? Um, choose a rival civilization when it's their turn. Control all characters Ooh, during that turn. Okay. <coughs> Alien. That's good use. Good <laughs> use. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Is that the That's one it. use item? Yeah. Yeah. So Are you done? Mm-hmm. All right. Caleb, roll. There's only a couple items left. I'm just going to grab Ten. one. Ten. A little scepter plus minus three defense to rival the staff. Okay, go ahead. Okay, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she got bamboozled. <laughs> <laughs> well, the item's stolen. <laughs> <laughs> So right now we basically want to block the exit or attack and steal from Alicia the key. That's what everyone wants is the key. Hmm. Basically get your characters over there because you're way far away. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe there's an item that could help you hmm. to... The teleport's already gone. <laughs> Dang. Um. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, what does the ring do again? The ring, uh, Pickering. become immune to negative item modifiers and rival abilities. Hmm. Only affects the character that has it. Okay. Um... Away from this. <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No. All done? All right. Philip, it's your turn, but mm, it's going to be Alicia's no. turn. But roll first for the last item. Do I roll? Okay, I have Alicia roll. Oh. Uh, actually, I guess that's it. There's no more item. Oh, wait. One more item. You roll. Yeah. Because that doesn't matter. Six. Six. This is the only spot, though, I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here's the items. You All right. What items. do they do? Nine, Desk whatever. Roll. That's going there. <laughs> that's going there. That's going there. You gonna kill me? Oh my! She's gonna take <laughs> you going out. There. Yeah. <laughs> and... Wow. I hope you want to see what his item. Oh, yeah. But you don't need it. You can just um, yeah. You can just kill me basically, probably. Any rival in a three tile radius. But you're only interested in using these two guys, right? So this guy has the bow, and this guy has the tesseract and the scroll. scroll. Um. You can use a tesseract. Increase. And warp so the last guy. You will be able to move here. all the characters and spend the three activation points without the player being able to do anything for that turn. Up to three characters. It has to be adjacent to the guy, though, right? So he is. Okay. There you go. Okay. It's just like a horror um, movie. I guess I'll use the aliens. Knockout gas. <laughs> it's like an alien. <laughs> Every rival in a three tile radius is incapacitated for one round. So you can choose. You choose any tile for that one. Oh, you could target a tile? What is it? Knockout gas. Every rival in a three tile radius is incapacitated. Oh, so it's within the uh, the character who has the item, okay, right? Okay, yeah, I think so. So these two. Yes. And... Do you want to just use it? Yeah. Okay, can you discard this? Please and thank uh -huh. you. Even though I'm not benefiting. Does it matter which guy I'm using to attack? This guy is probably your, the best one. Okay. Because it's whoever has the item has to eat. Who uses the item? It's an active item, so then they'll be—they won't be able to do an That's attack or anything. That one, okay. Okay. So this is used. This pro, my guys are incapacitated. Yeah. Isn't it better to use this guy though, because he gets the plus one attack for all aliens within the three tile radius from his character. That way, you can wipe out the monster. Oh, for attacking? Yeah. That's up to her. Yeah. And he's ranged, so he can attack from four spaces away. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. I just need her to not move. <laughs> okay. so, that's it. I don't need to roll then. If you want to attack, you can. Roll I don't need it. to attack. Okay. All okay. I need is for her to not move. That's it. <laughs> that's that's good. That's correct. Yes. End turn. Okay. You can end the turn. Okay. My turn. These guys can't do anything. This one will go pick this up, I guess. Not going to do great. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. By himself. Okay, you turn, Alicia. One, two, three, four, five. can't stop you. Um, six, seven, eight, nine. She escaped. Yay, I, I couldn't escaped. do anything. <laughs> <laughs> and she took a Philip's turn, so he couldn't stop her. <laughs> he had all the guys there to stop her. Yay, Alicia! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I didn't have anything. I didn't have any items left. 
All right, that's Anathasia. Athanasia. Athanasia. <laughs> Athanasia. Anastasia. Yeah, no. That's a movie on Netflix <laughs> about Russia. So. <laughs> All right.